Sam O'Reilly with a Fight Talk podcast. Myself and Craig. Uh, very sober, Craig. No alcohol tonight for Craig. I don't know what is happening. It doesn't feel like it's him at all. Can't Shout out to all my Filipino ladies in the house. Uh, <laughs> I'll miss you all and I'll see you next time I'm back in New York. Respect. Southern Area <laughs> champion Jamani Camaro and Dino Richardson are joining us. The alcohol is flowing. They're not in camp officially, so... Woo! I hope Baz O'Connor ain't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the water, obviously. Yeah, no, I meant just from nice. me. These boys are on water. They're athletes, obviously. Um, we're going to have a look back over the last week's boxing. Um, a lot of questions. Obviously, it's our last podcast of the year. So there's going to be a lot of questions about the year and next year and stuff. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna get into it. We're going to start with... Um, well, you boys were there. New York. Lomachenko, Rigan, though. Ooh. Ooh, it was a busy weekend. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quality. Um, I've never been to New York before. You've been a few times, didn't you? Go quite a yeah, lot. Yeah, that was my fourth time. Fourth time. You've yeah. been before? In the last no, that years. was that was my first, first time. time. Actually, yeah. Yeah, crazy weekend, crazy week for you boys. You were there a lot longer than me. Yeah. Uh, I felt like I was trying to catch up a <laughs> long time and failing miserably. <laughs> tried to catch up and ended up tripping. And <laughs> <laughs> right into the I trash. tripped and fell into a bag of rubbish. I was peeing in a sink. It was a uh, yeah. It was a fucking. It was a mad few days, man. It's and the fight. <laughs> it was pretty good as well. And it was exactly how I predicted with your boy getting fucked up, as I've said. I know. Oh. And I've said in the video where you get me in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> um, for, for me, obviously, I sat here in uh, sunny Essex watching it at five o'clock in the morning while you boys were in the, the arena. First of all, I thought, how weird that they only got the two or three thousand arena. Like, it, five thousand. Yeah, well, five, five thousand, but there's, a, there's an arena in the same place as 20,000, isn't there? Yeah, we're there for the... Um, the basketball a couple of days yeah. before. It's crazy to me, man. The, the fight, for, for what you think, well, it, it turned out it wasn't a close fight. But at the time, you know, it was a purist dream and stuff like that. And it only did yeah. the little arena, which surprised me. But the, the thing that you have to remember is, is it's a purist dream. But how many purists, what, how many purists are there? Do you know what I mean? Seven. Mm. <laughs> there's, purists, is one of there's purists that will sit and watch it on TV and go that was a tremendous fight or whatever but in terms of purists who pay and travel and soak it up yeah, I don't know if you get 10,000 or 15,000 yeah. more, more casuals are more willing to spend money yeah. to go and watch boxing yeah no purists. I agree I agree think, do you think obviously Lomachenko he's not is he as big a name because he for as good as he is he doesn't command a massive arena now I don't know whether you blame that on him his lack of English or, or what I don't know what it is but he doesn't command a 20,000 arena why is it? Uh, I don't know to be fair he's got he's got all the skills done amazing in the, the Olympics obviously his uh, dad trained all the all the Ukrainians that are, are fighting in pro at the moment and he's got a ridiculous Ukrainian following but yeah in the pub after yeah, that, like, like, he was well loved back in the Ukraine as we got talking to but the thing is, uh, even though we were there from from Tuesday, so we saw the um, the public workout as well. There wasn't that many people that came to see him. It's no. crazy, isn't it? But no. when it came to the actual fight, there were a load. Someone of Someone like so Anthony Joshua in our country, obviously, you see a load of people. Do you know what I mean? You, like you said, the casuals, and you get the guys that. Look, but Lomachenko, who is arguably pound for pound top three or four, and he doesn't command that kind of. I, I don't know what can he do to change. The I perception d- of more people. I just think I think it could be Bob Arum on top, man. I think he's. I don't know. I think he might have fallen off the ball a bit. Um, he's about eighty-seven now, isn't he? he? he he's yeah. not, I don't think he's doing a lot for his fighters now. Like say, you're someone like Shakur Stevenson, um, young guy in the Olympics. Obviously done brilliant, got a silver medal. I think if he was with like Golden Boy or someone like that, it, it'd just be he'd, he'd be promoted. Hundred percent. He had a great fight himself as well. Yeah, yeah. it was a good fight, yeah. Yeah, he, but I think that was the best I've seen him so far in his career. Like, the improvements <coughs> are there, but... Yeah, you just don't really see a lot of... Um, you don't really. His fighters in... Like, you see AJ in, like, commercials and adverts mm-hmm. and stuff, and obviously... And on television, on, like, you know, like, talk shows and stuff. Yeah. Now, I don't know how it would work with Lomachenko, because I don't know how good his English is, but... It's not bad. I want to see more of him uh, out... Did you get upstairs in the end? <laughs> <laughs> After you turned your back on Vigon <laughs> uh, As soon as he loses, you're like a leech. No, his English is shite, so I ditched him. Uh, <laughs> you didn't even talk to him. <laughs> yours, yours ain't much better, brother. No one can understand <laughs> No, listen, I think it's hard when you... It's a catch-22, in it? Because you're not in your own country. So even though you've got a mad Ukrainian following, Ukraine is the other side of the world to America, isn't it? And if you base yourself over there and your fights are over there, it's not like... AJ fighting in London and bringing yeah. thousands and thousands yeah, of people down. He's fighting yeah. the other side of the world. And it's like Mick Carmody relocated over there. He's 
Yeah. Don't have yeah. Following now, does he really? It's really weird. So, I think it's always going to be a bit harder. I think he's getting into the mainstream a little bit more, and and the modern day where you have like social media videos and like all these highlight clips that get spread around, like the Matrix videos and all that stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's appealing to a wider audience and people who maybe don't follow boxing as strictly as we do. They are starting to know a little bit about him and his style because he's so different to everybody else. Well, he's he, he's so amazing, technically. It's almost weird to kind of see him elsewhere other than boxing. For example, you see Amir Khan going on, I'm a celebrity, you see David Hay do it before as well. Could you ever imagine Lomachenko yeah, or something like that? Know, but do the Americans do that what? anyway though? I know, I, they, they have those those big personas, but... They don't really do crossover stuff. Like even even Wilder, who's American born and bred... I've seen him lick the one, the one chip challenge. <laughs> that, was yeah, quality. Yeah, yeah. that was quality. But they don't really do that no, I know crossover what you mean. thing. Like, I know what you mean. And I think there needs to be more. I'd like to see Lomachenko everywhere. Like, he was at could, the basketball, wasn't he, when we was there? Yeah, he he was, to be fair. Um, Could you think the purses that these guys command are probably done... You know, They're not going to be as high as some other guys because of their public perception or public persona or how much they're known. And you just think Rigando is a guy that suffered his whole career... By yeah, by okay, not yeah, really being known, even though he's a two like, double Olympic gold medalist, but in his pro career, no one really cared, mm. and that, that's a horrible truth. But I don't know. I just I'd like to see Lomachenko well, that could be now. His style as well. I think that is could based on. I think that is based on his style. Um, like again, purists could sit there and watch it all day, but you're not going to get a casual spend money on watching. And then the guys that are going to give you commercial sponsorships or whatever. They don't care if you're if you're technically a great boxer. They care if the public care about you. The public are going to get behind you and buy yeah. the products because your face is on them. Yeah, of course. And a, a regal product or a, a product backed by regal isn't going to do mass appeal. So mm-hmm. it's, true. it's interesting. It's interesting. That's why. That's why again, Mayweather almost gets under. Kind of, he doesn't get enough. He doesn't get all the respect he kind of should should sometimes from the people that really hate on him. Maybe. Or even the people that do like him but don't realise how much he's actually he actually done. So yeah. many people want to mm-hmm. fight him because they know they're gonna make a ridiculous amount of money. Why yeah. are they gonna get make that money? Because, because he's because the, yeah, you're right. He's he's made such a name for himself. He's done that. A you know? couple of the questions, um one was Dan Dan Smith, I think his name. But um it was just basically what's Lomachenko next? If you're what do you wanna see his next fight? I was really hoping for Mikey Garcia and then Garcia's fighting Lippin yet, so he's gone up oh. again, I I'm team Mikey, you know this. Four this is gonna be his fourth world title at four, fourth weight. He's gonna battle up. He's gonna years, battle him, mate. He's this is this is like well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 140. mate. Yeah, you think he's one forty, and you look at Lomachenko. I know. Listen, Rigando went up two two weight classes for the Lomachenko fight. I don't think it was a good fight for any. I don't. Lomachenko and Garcia, I don't think was a great fight. So I'm not even too mad about that because I like I both fights. Great fight. uh, yeah, I, would, I don't. I, would, I don't see. I don't. It would have been a good fight, but I don't know what it would necessarily have done for Lomachenko because. I don't know. It was a tough ask for him to beat Mikey. Mikey's a big man. I don't think so. I think so. Lomachenko, no, think... he's just trying to get fights at the moment, isn't he? No mm. one wants to fight him, yeah. so he has to go up. He's going to have to go up. I think Eddie Hearn said this in an interview. He's going to have yeah. to keep going up until he gets somebody who can figure him out. You know, and none of these guys. Well, can I think, I think people Terrence... forget he lost his second fight, though. Yeah, but that was a. Nah, he lost he the lost fight, didn't he? I saw it. I, saw I don't think he I lost it. it. I don't think he lost it either. But he was close enough to have lost it that he was figured out. Do you know what I mean? He didn't. It but was once, close. But every all the mistakes he made in that fight, it was it was because he started slow. He didn't know about kind of the pro game. It's different. Yeah, he's getting roughed up. Yeah, he's, he's, roughed up. Yeah, he's only gonna get better. Thing. I think you're right. You see, when people rough him up now, he gives it back as good. Yeah, sticking yeah. his head in. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crack, have that. What about you, Dean? Who would you like to see Lomachenko move next? Um, I'd like to. I I actually I hadn't heard of this fight until Craig told me about him. Is it Bert Bertel? Yeah, Miguel yeah. Bertel. Yeah. I'd like to see him fight him. At, Super Feather, like super, super and yeah. then I don't think there is anyone else at the weight. So then I'd like to see him fight the Nares at lightweight. Oh, lovely Nares. The Nares at lightweight. And then whatever Mikey Garcia nice, is doing, yeah. if he's a well uh, light welter or lightweight, I'd like to see him fight him. Um, and I, I've, I honestly don't think there is anyone who is going to beat him until maybe I don't know if they can me at like well or wait, Terence Crawford. Yeah, I think Crawford is the only person that will trouble him. Yeah, I don't know if Bob Adam does that though. He wouldn't. Two of his top guy, two of his. That's Craw- the future for Bob Arum. Crawford will get more money at the welterweight scene. Yeah. He'll probably completely dominate most of them, to be fair. Yeah, Do you think he beats has, Furman has. and Spence easily? I think Spence yeah, is the toughest test. Not easily. Yeah, I think Spence, Spence will be tough. He'll beat him. But, you know, he can go anywhere. Everyone's always got a puncher's chance. 
at welterweight it's it's a good kind of balance of speed power and yeah. everything yeah. obviously terence crawford shows it all but it doesn't mean uh you can you can put i think crawford's one of the more one of the most well-rounded fighters i've ever seen 100%. yes and yeah, he's, he's more physical forward, he's more physical than lomachenko fight southport mm-hmm. orthodox is like probably as comfortable as anyone since Marvin Hagler. Yeah, I was going to say he's yeah. a throwback to that, yeah. that yeah. Hagler yeah. hands type. Did you know he got yeah. shot in the head as well? But they oh, early in his career. Terence Crawford got shot in the head. What? Shot, yeah. in the shot in the head. Shot in the head. Wow, where did you? Where did that come from? A a gun, gun on the That <laughs> 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 well, leading up to one of his recent fights. Uh, I see it in an article. Paddy was playing dice. Started counting the money in the car. Someone uh, tried to shoot at his friend and shoot. missed and hit him in the car. Um, wow. Bit of a fun fact on a Sunday night. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's fun, <man. laughs> If you see where he like, if you see where he grew up and where he, I think where he still lives as well, man. It is grimy as fuck. Yeah. Western Harlem. Oh, oh, it's cool. rough, man. Oh, Nebraska. Nebraska, yeah, yeah. Oh, we had a we had a lucky escape from Harlem. Harlem. Well, I, don't, I don't know if it was a lucky escape or if we were just overthinking it, but it was a lucky escape. By I, was shooting, it was lucky I was shooting escape. myself. It was worth it after the food we had, but you know, there was no way I could run. There was no way I could run. Um, <laughs> Rigondo did run well he ran home because he quit after six he rounds did. that that was one of the things that I didn't see coming because the word quit it sounds quite um, derogatory I think it sounds mm. like quite insulting and you consider this man two time Olympic gold medalist what he's been through just to be a pro boxer I mean you've done multiple articles with him Craig we know what he's been through and the man you'd imagine doesn't know what quit means but I can't find anything else Apart from the word quit for what he did in that Especially fight. Especially what he put on Twitter as well. That he, was he, he, I know, I Especially know. after he said, I'm not going to run and quit. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had a bruised hand. Lomachenko bloody retweeted that. And he called himself No Maschenko as well. Isn't that, isn't that, <laughs> yeah, that's mate, quick thinking, it's man. Brilliant. That's quick that thinking. Quick. But How good is English? It's good enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> didn't Teddy Atlas come up with that? I don't know. He called he himself it, he said it it in the post fight. They called me No Maschenko. But yeah. I think it's weird because you look at the fight. And for me, even though Rigondo wasn't getting a sniff, he didn't get a sniff at any action, he wasn't landing anything at all. But he wasn't he wasn't taking heavy shots. No, he, wasn't. he wasn't. He wasn't eating big shots that were rocking him, so mm. it still was weird to see him to see him get pulled out because I thought even with a half a fight to go, if yeah. you aren't eating massive shots, just go and What have throw, you got to lose? Yeah, throw it all in, yeah. but yeah, he just he obviously it looked was, like he was using his hand to hurt it either. That's yeah, it. yeah, that's what I mean. Um, yeah. Like I was saying what you were saying in the pub afterwards, like you said, there wasn't many big punches or clear scoring punches landed um, but if Rigondo was going to get beat I think the Lomachenko beating him that is the worst beating I think you'll ever see Rigondo take I don't 100%. think you'll ever see him get knocked 100%. clean out and I think that is the worst beating he embarrassed him he, he did said, embarrass him I yeah. said before as well like, even if he was the two weeks heavier if he, if he campaigned that super, fe- super feather I don't think he could have got near him no. like, honestly he's just, he's just different that. he is different but my, like, I get why Mikey people wanted to see the Mikey thing but I think mm. with Mike, Mikey's gone up a lot of weights as well so the reason I didn't want Mikey Garcia to have him was because He's he goes. You can see Mikey going big. I can see Mikey going up to well. It's just because that's do, your do man. Do you think the only yeah maybe? But <laughs> someone coming up beat. to Lomachenko, <laughs> like <laughs> Rigo's yeah. small, so he's never gonna be able to like manhandle him. Yeah. yeah do you yeah. think someone Mikey's who's bigger? Got a big frame, really. He's got his wide, his shoulder. Do you think someone who's bigger, even if it's not Mikey, someone who has campaigned at a higher weight or cuts a lot, could put a little bit more pressure on Lomo? Well, maybe apparently Lomo likes fighting people that are bigger. Like for example, Sosa, right? Sosa, Martinez. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to look at who I think can beat Lomo because he's special, man. And I just think some the only person I can see giving any problem now is someone who's bigger than him, who can maybe wear him out, drain it. Don't let him do everything. Don't let him have his way and dance around you because he'll Mm. do it to anyone. I think somebody technically good like Mikey is not going to be the answer. But he was strong, Mikey. It has to be somebody that like literally sits on his chest and just grind, works away on the inside, man. Because if you if you give him any space to move. Yeah. He's gonna fuck you up. That's it. That's yeah. what's, that's he just what's moves done. different, man. He moves different. It's, it's weird. But if someone sits on his chest, we've seen it. How he, he's done it a million times. He'll spin around and be, be he'll be behind he's you behind before you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. that dancing, that Ukrainian dancing comes in. Four years. Yeah. Four years. No yeah. boxing. Unbelievable. Until you've done four years of Ukrainian dancing. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, it fucking works, isn't it? That's, maybe that's the answer, boys. You got to give up boxing now. Yeah. I've done my bit of dancing. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> I've done well, a bit of dancing. He's a capoeira lover. <laughs> 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 bit of capoeira. I tried a very long time ago. Capoeira. Mm. Mm. Done it at school once. Put on the wall. 
Oh dear. Um, yeah. It was a hell of a weekend. I bet it was you fantastic. Good it fun. Was it was amazing, man. Great. great, I was here in the snow. Brilliant. Um, it's it's like, it's it's like well. You're in New York, you prick, man. I'm <laughs> sitting here in fucking Essex. Um, let's move on to uh, Wednesday night. Oh, what? sorry. What? Quickly, what about people who've been asking when Mayweather was at one thirty? What would the outcome if he boxed Lomachenko? He was young when he was at one thirty. Yeah, he was. He was more uh, more explosive at that weight as well. He stopped a lot more people when he. Mm-hmm. Uh, think I think Lomachenko still. I, I, I you're just, your team Loma for life now, aren't you? Ever since I put my arm around him, pissed out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, your buddies now. Party. Your buddies now. Yeah, I was remember watching highlights on TV <laughs> and uh, and his after party, watching highlights on the fucking big screen, and then all the Ukrainians start going mental. And we turned around, and he was just coming in. He just walked in the pub. Oh, was crazy, crazy, right? What the fuck? Because <laughs> I was up on the door, and I looked. He was, was like, like t- I was like, the the camera. Where's the camera? camera? I put my arm around him. I went, "You done it, bruv? You done it." To be honest, it's like. Why did I pick him up? Oh, I was going to pick him up. <laughs> what did he say? Sweet, bruv. Yeah, I felt, I felt good in there. It was quality. Fuck off, you English prick. Yeah, God knows. Mayweather Lomachenko. Fantasy matchup, that is. That, that'll be spoken about in years to come. Fantasy matchup. Wednesday night, you were there, mate? I was there. I was there. York Hall. Um, I thought, do you know what? Turned into a half decent show, man. Like, oh, that was a brilliant show. I'm I'm quite critical of Eddie's next gen concept. I know they didn't call this next gen yeah, because man. it's usually A side beating up B side. That's that's usually what yeah. it is. But, but it weren't, that man. Didn't, that it, weren't the case, was nah, it? No, it was some good fights on there. I thought I thought Jake Ball, Miles Shinkwin was quite good. Although I think Jake Ball was better than I gave him. I've given him credit for because yeah, he made mm-hmm. Miles look. Yeah. A lot of people said that actually. I I missed the show. I caught up with some of the fights. I did not see that one bit. I think because a lot of people started doubting, not him. talking yeah. about him, and anyone well, can get caught cold though. Yeah. You know, yeah. I see him in the amateurs. He was a good fighter as an amateur on the GB setup. Um, I expected him to do well as a pro. And he, I'll have to admit, when I see him get knocked out, even I started to think like it was nah. a bad one, wasn't it? Yeah. It was a fucking. Bad it was one. a bad knockout. <laughs> out of the ring. Wasn't F- it? First, he went over the ropes, and then he just got iced, clean, yeah. fresh, you know, sleeping. Yeah. You know the thing is, he's just got such a big fucking chin. Yeah. He looks like desperate Dan. He's got a massive fucking chin. <laughs> just gets cold. Easy. How <laughs> tall is he though? Pe- oh, I don't know. He's, he's a tall he guy. looks big. He looks big. Yeah, Billy was commentating, saying, "Oh yeah, he, he's probably about six four, maybe pushing six five. I'm right. No, no, no he he's not. Really? I thought he was like six one, six two. Really? He, I, I seen him afterwards in Burger King in Waterloo. He's a big boy. That's true story. I did. Um, no, I, I think he improved a lot and he, he made Miles look very average. That's uh, that's yeah. my opinion. I don't, I don't think, think Miles, sure Miles that, didn't he? throw a lot. He, he, I don't know what happened to him, but that's weird. Yeah, I expected Miles to give him a good fight. I did. Price. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Um, who else was on it? Uh, fucking hell, Josh Kelly, your boy. I love, I love Josh, Josh Kelly. Josh Kelly. I love him He's the man. man. He's superb. Is um, it, who called him our version of Lomachenko? Who's taking the piss here? Loads of people. Is it? It's just because it was. He's got great feet, but let's can't, not go. Let's not that. Look, he can't, can't, that. can't go there. That's a bit far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks very good when he's when he's fighting. He's like obviously some of the things he pulls off is like very impressive and eye catching. And me and Jamani have sparred him, and I think if if I hadn't sparred him, I'd be raving about him. But I think he'll get found out quite soon. Yeah, Do you know, I'm Dude. I'm the opposite. You know, when I first saw him, I thought it was a lot of a lot of flash, a lot of flair, a lot of hype. Um, by the second fight, obviously he's just take he's taking a fight. So obviously with Booth, Adam Booth, people just people just they get so much better so much, so quickly and they, yeah. they don't kind of stall at any point because the matchmaking's good, the training's yeah. amazing, they got yeah. great people around them. And although when we sparred, I didn't think he was like levels above me, but I still think when he gets into the ring, he knows not only do I. Do I know how to beat this guy? But I know how to make it look good. Yeah, it's, it's not. I, like, I love that about him. Yeah, I, you know? I like that about him. But so when he as he moves up the levels, there's no guarantee he's gonna fight. I can't even think of who he's gonna. But you know, what I mean, English or British or European level, is he really gonna keep his hands down at that at them levels? I think it'd he be will. interesting depends, to see. Depends who I fights. think he will as well. Until he gets he hit on the chin really fucking hard, and then he might not want to do that so much. <laughs> you know what I mean, it, it, I love it. I love seeing that, and I think it looks it looks beautiful. It's great. It's different from mm. the generic gloves up style it's not really a British style is it it's not It's not. but it, I, I love it but the, the question for me 
Will he do that against tougher opposition? I hope he does. I hope he feels comfortable enough to do it then. Well, they, were, they were looking to fight. Uh, they wanted to try and make the fight with a European champion, British. They wanted to try and make all these crazy fights already. Mm-hmm. And I think that tells you enough. But I'm, I'm kind of, I'm stuck in between Dean and Jumani's opinions, to be honest, because I don't know what Jumani's saying. What's about when you sparred him? I think when you watch him fight, like all that flash is there and it looks good, and obviously what Jumani's saying about Booth guiding him is, is a massive impact, but I'm also kind of on Dean's Dean's level as well. Like That guy he was fighting last week, how, how long did the fight go? Six, six rounds? Six rounds. I don't know, man. I think if you get someone that isn't. Because if you have someone with their hands down and their chin out in front of you and they're moving about you, a lot of people will be intimidated by that. Yeah. Mm. And if you get someone that just don't give a fuck and they just won't be intimidated forward. by it, I just like coming from the sparring, I just think that's why I think he's going to get, um, or he's going to have questions asked um, yeah. quite soon, to Definitely. be honest. Um, people, f- I-, I see someone say he's ready for a world title now, really? No, 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 no. That's, 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 really? that's an ask, you know. But at the same time, it's, it is a booth style, you know, the same with yeah. Ryan, Bar- Ryan Burnett, his his hands are always up. He's got that kind of yeah. that George Groves kind of jab coming up. Yeah, left yeah. low. Yeah, yeah. Um, my old gym mate from West Ham, Lucian. Lucian, um, a bit I love like that as well. Yeah, like yeah. he, he switched to him. And I think he's um, he, he's a great fighter. But I can see more improvement. So he's been with talking about him and Josh Kennedy in the new year. You seen that? No, is it done? It's done. Is it done? Oh, Sadly, oh, English title. Oh, mate, that'll be a when, great fight. When? Where? What show? February. I don't know what date. Who show? What Warren show? It'll be a Warren show, but oh, as far as I can, as far as I, I think Lucian have got a long way. I do. Well. I'm a yeah. big fan of Lucian Reed, man. He's a Lucian top player. Yeah. So quick, yeah. so quick. And, and I actually, he's actually dying fought, out for a good fight. Well, as well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually been fought, for one for a while. Yeah, he has. I thought Josh Kennedy lost to Ram Balaceta when we were there. Remember? Yeah. I thought he lost that fight. Yeah. Balaceta yeah. dropped him. Is that your call? Yeah, yeah. Really? They gave it to Kennedy. I think you might. You might have been on that show. Yeah, it was like. Ram Balaceta. Oh, I remember. Come out of piss right after. Is that not John O'Donnell? It might have been O'Donnell watching. Yeah. Last March. I wasn't there for that. Yeah. Is that when Camacho box Wheeler as well? Was that the same? Yeah, maybe. Might have been. Yeah, because I remember some cracking fights. Yeah, we we both thought Ramon beat Kennedy. Yeah. Dropped him, yeah. didn't he? Dropped him. Uh, did he drop him once or twice? Or one drop dropped him late, given? eighth or something yeah, like that. I don't know, but I think Lucian Reed against him is a good fight. Yeah. We all know if you get dropped, you come back and win, can't you? Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna come on to that. Um, we'll save that to last. We'll save that. I feel like I'm gonna have a very different opinion on you guys for that one. Uh-oh. But you know, <laughs> Uh Gamal, you're fired. Didn't see it. Felix what? Cash, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence Akoli beat up another middleweight. Really, didn't he? I didn't just shut boring. Up in the ring, boring. Gamal, yeah, Gamal just shut up. <laughs> the program it didn't have as an op- opponent. Oh, how um, did Ted, Ted, Ted Cheeseman. I like Ted. So I like Ted well, a lot. Ted Cheeseman's a super waterweight. That's 154 pounds, Dean. What are you trying to imply, mate? I'm saying he's. It was he English. Is he still English champ? Do you know what we saw? Hang on, he just he pulled out. On. Go on, you can no, say. No, no, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> he's just me and so, Jamal are big fans so of. Uh, fucking you, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I knew tell we could only be invited. What are you here? <laughs> yeah. It's not really a story. It's, not, it's nothing good. It's just uh, obviously JJ Metcalf's someone we uh, we spar with a lot. And we we rate a lot, maybe not for the boxing. That's a purse bids for the British, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. it was um, until yeah. So we saw what? Ted Cheeseman's. <laughs> he's pulled. He's pulled out of the. Who Ted Cheeseman? Ted Cheeseman yeah. from the JJ he's withdrew from the JJ Metcalf fight. That I think is that an exclusive. That that uh, well, it's, it's so it just gone British it, boxing. It's on Twitter, right? but <laughs> shit, it's a it's a fight talk exclusive. I, I didn't know that because even the other day I saw him talking about it just before the fight. You know what we didn't know until. So we saw wow, well, there you go. So but you know what? Things change. Change. Things change. Yeah, things change. Yeah, things you know? change. Of course they do. So um, the best looking man in boxing, Ted Cheeseman. Oh, stop it. Very handsome. <laughs> 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 um, um, what was the other one? Uh, Akoli. Akoli beat up another middleweight, mate. He just keeps fighting these guys that are so much smaller than him. It's crazy. Team Chamberlain. Mind okay. Jay Wood done well, didn't he? I heard he was quite good. I've never, I didn't watch the fight. But I've, never I've really seen the knockout. Which is I've never been really sure. massively impressed with him. I've always thought he's quite boring, but apparently he turned up on the night. Mm. Did you see it? No. Did you leave early? I left early. Why you stop leaving early? I had to go to work, bruv. What do you want from me? Stop taking fucking media passes and leaving early. You're an embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> casual. <laughs> casual. <laughs> we went to the last good one where we left at half eight. I was like, fucking hell. That was a really hell. bad good one show. Wow. <laughs> it wasn't the, good. The 20, yeah. the 20, the 20 yeah. was awful, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and it was like, sometimes one stop in yeah. oh, <laughs> I think I'm Steve Goodwin, man. You do need to get people out there sometimes. Yeah, right? that's what we went We went with the political approach. You just need to get them out. I was home, have the Chinese in hand by 9.30, man. <laughs> I stayed. That sounds, yeah. that sounds amazing. <laughs> it's great. It's only good to see when I was still there. Um, <laughs> let's talk about the... F- oh, Katie Taylor retained her title. Yeah, oh, yeah. cool. Let's, cool. Talk, let's talk about the main, the, the main fight, the best fight, the standout fight of the night. Conor Ben. All right? I'll, oh, I'll, 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 I'll let you guys go first. <laughs> when Conor Ben lost to Cedric Pino. When, yeah, Conor Ben... No, he won by three rounds, clearly. <laughs> Mathematicians everywhere are just losing their Mate, shit. Stephen, <laughs> Stephen Hawking, <laughs> Stephen Hawking <laughs> is confused. <laughs> Ramez Mahmood is turning in his fucking grave, the math magician, trying to work out the scores. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. He got dropped twice in the first round. That's 10-7. He got nearly stopped in the third. That's another 10-9. He ended up... Uh, listen, whatever. Let's take the bullshit out of it. He got found out massively. And it's not like it's brand new information to us, is it? Mm. Let's be honest because he is very, very vulnerable. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to take away the... You know, I'm going to be, so I'm going to, I'm give him some credit, right? I know you don't want me to, Dean. I don't give a fuck. If I was in his position... Dean's going to hit me in a minute, that. don't worry. I'm going I'm <laughs> to I'm I'm give him some credit because it can't be it can't be easy to learn on the big stage. Like he, He's not allowed to do his work behind closed doors and pick up his fights in a small hall. He is forced onto television because of his surname. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now that same surname gets him ten grand a fight yeah, from fucking say, yeah. Reebok and twenty grand from that or however much. He's on stupid money for a very average fighter at this stage. Yeah. But he's learning in the ring. He's now eleven and zero in the space of eighteen months because he doesn't have to worry about tickets. So he doesn't. He said after this fight, Jesus, I didn't know how hard boxing was. You still don't, mate, because you ain't never had to sell a ticket in your life. Mm, yeah. Your surname does that's, that for you. That's the hard so, part, so let's yeah. be honest. You still don't know what it's like. But you got found out massively, man. Now. He lost the fight. I, I can't understand. If he was given a draw, I would have been a little bit surprised. I had it a draw. Um, but I, I wouldn't even be mad. I wouldn't be mad if he won it by one round, right? Because when you break down the score and he put the boy yeah. down twice in the last two rounds, that's that means he's only a round behind with three other rounds to consider. But he got battered in the first. It doesn't matter, right? Battered. If, yeah, he's, but he's the home fighter. He's the home fighter. I thought the fight was a bit closer. Right? I thought the that was when he was against the ropes, and I swear Bob was going to stop it. That, do you know I what? thought that was the, the ref, second. Whatever round it was, the ref nearly fucking jumped in and stopped him. I'm not he was gonna, getting fucked. I'm not going to lie. Okay, you're going to. Here we go. Here we go. They go way back. Look, now I don't even don't even go away but there was, a, there was a point when I was calling him out not properly but like just to get a fight you know I, ha- I again I have to give him some credit it's hard like you said it's, you come up you've got the name Ben you're going to end up fighting a certain way okay uh, anyone if they if they got the chance would take it if you got a chance to go fight with Eddie Hearn yeah. it doesn't matter what type of box you are to not sell tickets you're taking you're, you're taking your chance at the end of the day he's an exciting fighter which Makes it good at least instead of being boring yeah. and bloody arrogant. I, I yeah, you're right. right. I do you're enjoy right. watching you know? him fight. I can't. Um, Only because you're hopefully always blown out. <laughs> it is that's unfortunate. Just, like just, like uh, he's he's struggling at this sort of uh, at this sort of level. My only problem with him is that sometimes he gets a bit arrogant when he's when he's talking about certain yeah. things. Yeah, it's yeah. not even the level. The fact that he's the fact that he's doing certain things. The fact he's getting certain opportunities where other people yeah. don't. That's just. That's just he's just lucky. That's, that's just lucky. You can't yeah. hate yeah. him. Yeah, like no, I, I get yeah. it. Cool. Yeah, After right. his fight, again, like uh, like Craig said, ten seven in the first. Although he dropped the guy to twice in the last two rounds, which means he's one point up, isn't he? In those, I thought he he was getting battered in the second, given to the guy, but I thought he came back quite strong in the third. Started actually using his jab. Listened to um Sims. to his coach to his Sims, and he was working the body throughout the whole thing, which I don't even know if he realised he was doing it. As for the last, um, the fourth, that could have gone any way, which probably went his way, mm-hmm. which I can see why they gave him a win. But so did again, you, did only you, one Did you give it to him? Did you I give gave it to him by, by one. Yeah. yeah. By can one. anyone do the maths on a three-point swing? Yeah, but you know what? That's fucking matching. <laughs> no, I did. Yeah, That's I did. fucking matching. But you worked out how it was yeah, possible. Yeah, I put it on Twitter and it kind of fucking went a bit mad because everyone was sharing it all over the place. I couldn't what, work 63, out how it was 57 or something That's like that. what I mean. No, I mean. That was me. That was me. Yeah, you've got to give him bonus points for having heart. No, so for him to win that way... It means that Pino had won the first by three. Then yeah. he was given a share of another one, which meant he was three. Then he lost the next two. I see that. And oh, then right. he, won, he lost then the he next two by two. But how did someone uh. give it 10-10 in the second round where I've never seen a fighter take yeah. a beating? It was a that second. One. I'm getting confused. With it. Yeah, that's when, he was was the ropes, 10-10. when he was against the ropes. When he was against the ropes and he nearly got stopped. If that guy could whack a bit stopped. more, you were 
You'd be sleeping. Hundred percent. If you were catching him with those shots, you wouldn't have made it through the first. Let's, 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 let's go on to you because I feel like you just want to fucking go on a rant here. What, <laughs> what, is your, what is first of all? What's your assessment of him as a fighter? And also, where do you think he goes from here? Like, what test can we expect from his next fight? Um, him as a fighter, obviously, he's very similar to his dad, and obviously, you got to you gonna have a similar style, wouldn't you, to your to your dad? Um. I just, I just don't think. Obviously, if anyone was in his position with the surname, you were going to be taking full advantage of it, which he is. So fair play to him, like good luck to him, like anyone would do it. Me and him had similar amateur backgrounds. I think uh, I had sixteen fights. I think he had about like twenty. 20 yeah. But weren't they in um, Australia? Were they here or were they Australia? Yeah, they're in Australia. I don't Australia know. Australia. So, so don't did know they? Did they, they really happen? What, like Jeff Horn? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Did they really happen? I'm not even taking the piss. I've heard some shit about Australia and. Who knows, whatever. But but if he had a different surname, he, he wouldn't be in that position. Um, yeah, I just don't think he's that, that great of a fighter. It's proved that he's quite easy to hit. Um, people keep saying that he's like the most improved fighter of 2017. Yeah, but say you're a bad fighter and then you improve. You're still average. Yeah, yeah. I get <laughs> that. <laughs> Saying you're an improved yeah, fighter that, doesn't that. mean what does it really mean? Yeah. It's, it's true. true. It's true. It's true. And I think that's the worst he's looked. So I don't know why. And is he... look at his opponent. He's a small guy. Uh, not like welterweight. He was probably average, and then at welterweight, he's probably what up, probably See, up to about my shoulder that, or something I, like that. I don't understand yeah. why and he's fighting people shorter than him. I don't understand it. I don't yeah. think he's fought an opponent. I wonder if that's intelligent totally. intelligence from the matchmakers at Matchroom by saying, look, he's going up a weight to feel more comfortable, but they're still booking him lighter fighters. You, you, know, you, know, when you, you know when you're that young? 100%. And if that guy did not gas, if he had a bit more to oh, He train, was fucked, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he gave yeah. it all you in the first round. see it from the first yeah, round, obviously, he's trying to get him out of there. Each. And where does he go from here? Um, he has to go back to fighting people he can blow out and have everyone blowing smoke up his ass again to yeah. be honest he's, he's probably going to have a really has to shit up. fight yeah. which then means that the fights after that will seem like he's making progress again but yeah. not really yeah. you know yeah. is it, is it, I say it, he can't can't level, he'll, he'll, he'll be 20 and 0 by the end of 2018 you know that right and we'll all go fucking hell what a record he's built up he's 20 and 0 now is it, better, like, is it better for you Dean is a potential opponent or somebody that would love the fight is it better for you if he keeps winning and then you can bust the bubble, or is it better if he loses one and then you, they actually give you the chance to fight? Like, what's the best case scenario? Um, without sounding a big idiot, I don't. I think I'd be too much of a dangerous fight or risky fight. Risk, risk reward, do you have to, to take? take um, unless, unless they have to take it, unless they're into a position where they are. Um, of course, it'd be better for me if he's if he's got his good padded record. Because all the hype will be there, and then I'll be the one to. You're laughing, aren't you? as, long as, as long as it's you to yeah. it, it doesn't matter when it comes. Yeah, look, no, but your title right fights, I'd imagine now you're going to be looking for title fights at 154, right? Yeah, Which yeah, super, I'll, super yeah, well. Yeah. I can't see him going above well enough. No, I because no, the, the, no, the, I'll take him around at well away, and then I sort of realised my last sort of two two fights. I'm just like, I'm like five yourself. eleven six foot. Yeah. You're, you're, I think you're a super well, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a super well. So, so stop bullying young Connor. It's basically <laughs> what we're saying. So just leave him alone. Yeah, I'd bully him <laughs> <Anthony> Joshua. Oh. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think he listens. You'll be alright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's that's Connor Benny. He's whatever. He's yeah. got he's got the surname. He's doing what he can with it. I guess. That's it. Um, yeah, let's move on to last night, the most recent and probably the last British card that we'll, we'll talk about this year. Well, it will be. Um, not British card, but British fighter, I should say. It was in Canada. Right. Billy Joe Saunders defending his WBO middleweight title against, quote-unquote, one of the pound-for-pound pound hardest punchers in boxing. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He is. Shut oh, the he fuck is. up. Because he, he, he blasted out Curtis Stevens. Who else has he blasted out? Mate, it was a great knockout, but, I mean, if you can't even land a punch... It was, that, uh, what does it mean? Yeah, David Lemieux. Poor David Lemieux got ridiculed in his hometown, didn't he? you watch it, mate? Mate, I did. I'd stayed up till what was it, 10 past 5, it ended quarter yeah. past 5, and yeah. I'm an old man, so that was a real task for me. <laughs> but Billy Joe Saunders put on a show. Yeah. I, I've said it before, I'm not his biggest fan, and it's more because of what he does outside the ring. Mm. That, that's the honest truth, like his, his kid kicking people and all that. Like, all right, I don't want you to be, everyone to be a fucking top role model and stuff, but I want a little bit more professionalism. And I, I've, I've had that against Billy Joe. But last <laughs> night, he had me sitting there wetting my pants, like... I was like, this is beautiful. To, beautiful to watch. He, on the back foot, then on the front foot, 
the power punches, the ta- he did everything better than Lemieux. Like everything. I don't think I've seen a middleweight with better feet than him. And then we've got Canelo and Golovkin. Yeah, okay, obviously they're completely different animals. Love but Billy Joe's feet. Saunders' feet are better than both of them. Like 100%. I'm saying. Yeah, 100%. I'm not, I don't feel there's a doubt. I don't feel there's a question. It's now made me go. Billy Joe against Canelo. Yeah. Fuck it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because before I was like, eh, maybe, yeah, but now I'm fucking all over that fight. Billy Joe, I thought, was beautiful. I think he won every second of every minute of every round. The judge that gave him, he lost, they took a round or two off him. Was it 117, 111? Yeah, one, yeah, one yeah. Was three, yeah. I don't know what the fuck he was watching. That was too kind. David Lemieux, little bitch. Just, <laughs> j- just go, you know what? I was beaten. Do you remember when Frampton got beat Wait, by Santa oh, Cruz? Got, so was, oh. When Frampton got beat I'm by Santa so Cruz, he went, I think he was better than me yeah. tonight. Yeah, 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 I lost to the better man. I lost to the better man because you can't lose every round on a judge scorecard. Three excuses. Three, three different excuses. Even Lomachenko, when he lost to Salido, there was the same guy that um, that spoke to him. He, he did not give any excuses. This guy, as soon as he, he got asked something, yeah, he was running. Oh, I wasn't that good today. It's I had my of hand. Was it, because, was it because of uh, Billy Joe? No, no, it was just because of me. That's, that's, pathetic. Are that's you, pathetic. Are you ridiculous? Are you stupid? Do you want to fight him again? You can fight him Yeah, You can times. fight him six days in a row and twice on a Sunday and you ain't going to get a round off him. Definitely The not. way they were was, mate, I know you ain't seen it, Dean. What are your things, thoughts of Billy Joe in general? Are you a fan of Billy Joe? Or? I like Billy Joe purely because of the things that he does outside the ring. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I've, I've always liked him. I've always, um, I've been to quite a lot of his fights. Um, I just like the style of boxing. Uh, to be honest, I think he's a very, um, just very much a very, he's a boxer. He's a boxer. boxer he's a proper really. boxer. Like, he's, yeah. just, he's just skillful. Like He's not, He's not the hardest puncher in the world, and if he's got the right opponent in front of him, he, like last night, he can be exciting. He's funny as well. He is a funny character as well. Definitely. Yeah, um, he is funny. He's a people's person, isn't he? He's a um, like he's very true to his uh, like. Yeah, he is what he is. Yeah, um, no, I get that. I just, there's a couple of times I thought he should have reined it in, and listen, I don't, I'm, I don't want people to be. I, I, I go out there and say I love personalities in boxing. I, yeah. I want people to be different, but. There's a couple of times, in my personal opinion, he's crossed the line and his yeah, kid. And his so, kid yeah. But it's, it is what it is. The actual do you think boxer, he told his kid to do that? Probably not, but he didn't stop him either. I, do you know what? I don't think he tells his kid to stop or start anything. I think yeah. his kid probably just does what he fucking wants. Runs yes. Good that you made him apologise, though. Steve, Steve Saunders if you, if you watch the broadcast little fucking Steve Saunders is like 10 years old probably just smoked a couple of fags <laughs> and he's uh, in the front row and he gets like a little nameplate on BT Sports yeah, like, like, Steve he's, a, like he's, a, he's a fucking analyst or something Steve Saunders you just sit there chilling with that traveller hairstyle son of Billy no. brilliant no. Yeah, mate Billy Joe Billy, he looks so good mate. best Amazing. performance of his career I, I think you have to say by a long long, best, long way best performance by a British boxer this year yeah, maybe. Hard to think of one that's been as Joshua clear. Joshua Tesco. Well, he's a couple though. Billy's, um, Billy's definitely a dominant. If you look at a dominant performance, oh Billy, like a shutout like that against in opponent. his hometown where the judges couldn't say th- there was no question. You know what I mean? You get <laughs> you somewhere. Say anything, not one round was close in my opinion. I yeah. thought I thought it was just a masterclass. I thought he did trouble him as well. Points like yeah yeah yeah. yeah, he, yeah. Did. he hurt he him a couple of times. There was one point he landed like a straight left. Yeah, and he started like shaking a little. His legs started doing a wee dance. So I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck?" What about when he looked for the punch? Lemieux oh, fell right, and Bill yeah, turned round like, to the crowd. Where's that going? Bill to throw that body shot at Mayweather. Yeah, and hit the he rope tight. <laughs> <laughs> just so comfortable in there. So That's comfortable. Yeah, yeah, I love that he could describe it well. I love that he could play with it as well. He had fun, man. He was that comfortable that he could have fun with he wasn't just beating him and staying nice and tight and yeah. things like, he was just like he was enjoying the I moment. found it entertaining as well as like good to watch you know exactly, you know, exactly. you can appreciate the skills but he made it entertaining made it yeah. fun. I, it's, I'm yeah. a Billy Joe fan man I'm all in yeah, I'm all I'm in now I'm surprised at the size of him as well he's, yeah. actually, he's actually really big isn't yeah he? It's weird you say that, Sam, because in the group chat last night you said you supported anybody that was fighting Billy Joe. I, oh. I, I said that yesterday afternoon. I, did. I, said, I, I said I was Team Willie. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. I'm more, team in, more, in more ways than one. Yeah. Right. Team Lemieux. But then when someone does that, 
It's hard to be against him. Like, he looks so it. sharp, I thought. And it was good because I turned me around by his boxing ability, which I like. I watched that Akakov fight and I thought, Maybe this guy fans. is dog shit, man. Mm-hmm. When he fought Akakov. Yeah. Even when he fought Willie Monroe, I thought he started well, but I thought he kind of just cruised by. He was so negative, fight. though, Willie Monroe. That yeah. yeah, he it's was. It's hard to look good against someone, unless you're Lomachenko against Rigon, though. It's hard to look good against. Ingles <laughs> 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 done well with him, man. Ingles yeah. done very well. Mm. Yeah, Gets all these boys in really yeah. good shape up there. Oh, shit, it's 2 0. Liverpool, Matt. Not really. This is a boxing podcast. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'd you're, not, you're, not, <laughs> you're not all pep talk now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> who, um, who would he fight now? Uh, or who would you like him to see now? Potential future matchups? Can- Canelo. Canelo for me. Canelo? Canelo, yeah. Well, I think, obviously, you've got. There's got to be the Golovkin Canelo rematch. Is that definitely happening? May the 5th. Someone said May the 5th. Think but Mayo. It makes sense. Think so Mayo. I think that should we go, not, Should we go? You're not should like we do? Like, uh, I'm never going so anywhere again. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight on the fourth and we'll fight out. <laughs> Can't we get you on the undercard? Ooh, That'd be good. Maybe Joe Cordina. Oh. <laughs> Fuck Joe Cordina. Um, Joe gonna... Cordina, you're a pussy. No, stop it. <laughs> Joe Cordina's a quality. Oh, fan. look at him, he's had hey, half a Malibu in his chair. The illness has left me, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Assy Valley as well. Oh, Jesus, we've got a lawsuit going on that. You can't talk about it. Don't worry about that. I'll edit that out, don't worry. Oh, I love it. Um, <laughs> is that enough? A bit? We've got so many questions, we're going to have to end, end the Billy Joe section, I think. It's, it's All right. That's what we do. Let's move on to the um, the question section of the of the podcast. In the in the half time, we've got a little bit more drunk than I anticipated. There oh, is we're no... recording now. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be absolutely... No, sorry. They can't, they can't see me. Sorry. <laughs> There's going to be no order to these questions, so apologies if we... We're uh... just going to fire out questions. Yeah, we'll just fire out some questions. All right. On you go, mate. Question for Jamani. This is from Martin from New Age Boxing. I hope everyone's getting down to the podcast live tomorrow in Camden Town. Can't Locked wait. <laughs> <laughs> How disappointed were you that the Cordina fight never came off? And is it in your plans for the future? Talk us a little bit about exactly what happened for people that don't know. Do you know they didn't want it. They bought it. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's tough, you know, because people say different things. One person says one, one says another. And you can't really get down to the to the, to everything unless you're really, like, in the mix from the beginning. Um, I pretty much let Steve and Barry do do what I need to do for the match and things like that. So I don't really get too involved but I did understand what was happening in the last kind of few weeks of that um, I wasn't crazy disappointed, I was I was upset because like it's a big fight, it wasn't a Cardiff show anti Joshua, it would have been a great show you know um, but at the end of the day it's boxing, these things happen all the time so you need to kind of get used to it Yeah. so but you got offered you know? the Cordina fight and they didn't want to do it over 8 rounds or six, was that correct? Or how, how it was, was weird, Like it started, they wanted it over they wanted it over 8 and they wanted it over eight. Then they wanted uh, over a title fight because obviously it's his first time in Cardiff. He's from Cardiff. He's Welsh. Um, then I was like, yeah, we'll take that. Then uh, Goodwin done well, like negotiating how much it was. I was taking it for for how what they first gave. But yeah, he, he done very well. He done what his job is, and that's why he's an amazing manager. Then um, I think a bit down the line, they ended up going no. Uh, it was a mix between. Tony Sims as the manager not wanting the fight and that Cardiff show just being an absolute mess like yeah. I'm sure I remember that that show was ridiculous so he didn't even though he was the only Welsh guy on the cards they weren't willing to give him the rounds yeah. mm. so there's like okay maybe it's gonna it's gonna be a, a four rounder now and then like we've got negotiated it was like okay well, it'll be ten to begin with but if you don't have the time then it'll be eight if not, then it'll be six, then it'll be four, blah, 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 blah. When, when they're pay-per-views, everything is dependent on what happens, basically. It it's like, it may not have done anything for you. The way, the way I looked at it, when I heard you had been offered the fight, yeah. exposure on a match and build, great. Where's the fucking guarantee you're going to get it? That's the they thing. ended up talking over Cordina's fight. That's yeah. the thing. They Do you know what I mean? They didn't, they didn't show it at all. It was a four-rounder. There was no, no coverage. And he's like, it's weird because he was like the... He's the homeboy. I know everyone came yeah. for anti Joshua, but I of, thought it was poor. Of we, everyone we, else, we abused sure that pay per view because it was really badly done, man. Well, they made, they made, a, they made such a big deal of it being Joe Cardina fights for his first title on his you home soil, but and then just nothing. I give it. Really it <laughs> I give it a benefit of the doubt that it wasn't 
it wasn't his fault. It's, not, it's not his fault. Yeah, a lot yeah, of boxers, cool. you know, boxers are there. They, they do what they do. All the know? fights went along on the night, if I remember as well. And it's sort of... Dave yeah, Allen yeah. Fought, did Dave Allen didn't fight either. So, yeah, it's one but, of them weird but things. But back to the question, if was I disappointed? Of course, I was a little bit disappointed. Not disheartened. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that was a yeah, delayed reaction. Just getting emotional. Uh, Just emotional. A bit emotional. emotional. You know? Bringing back bad memories. <laughs> no, uh, no, but it's it's good. I feel like it, it's good that something like that has happened. It's good because uh, you have to deal with it at some point in your career. Yeah. Unless obviously you're a, it's a kind fucking of weird game. And <laughs> 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 no, it's, you um, get ups and downs and. Uh, Fights booked and cancelled. You yeah, see those so Frank Warren boys that were all due to fight on uh, yesterday yeah, in Brentwood. Yeah, yeah. Didn't happen. I was so upset. And what no, was that? No one Did you knows see why. The, oh, no one knows why. Three fighters. I remember it come up on my. It was exactly the Twitter same, thing. right? Someone must have sent them a message saying, "Right, here's a message. Just send it out." And it all. Oh, it was literally. Exactly. I think Charlie Driscoll sent it. Lucian Reed. Yeah. And like whatever happened. Boy that, Jones, it might have been. They yeah. all ended up on my Twitter feed at like exactly the same time. And I thought. Yeah, I was, I was like, very strange. Johnny, Johnny Cole was fighting on that one. Very yeah, strange. That, Johnny des- Cole, yeah, good boy. He deserves, he deserves a title shot. Yeah, what, you know? what's happening with his career? I don't know, man. I don't know. I he like just keeps stagnating. Yeah, definitely. I like Johnny Cole. He's in uh, Alec, Alec Wilkie, isn't he? Alec yeah, Wilkie yeah, fighter, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good lad. Uh, two more questions for you, Jamani, quickly. How hard has it been to transition from kickboxing? Um, and do you think that that style benefits you in the ring? Oh, or, or, is it is it is it <laughs> completely different? You know the French geezer that smashed up Conor Ben the other day. Yeah. Apparently he's a well thought of kickboxer. Well, I was gonna, I was going to jump in at that point. We were talking about Conor Ben and say that people were going. He, used to, he was a world champion kickboxer. I'm sure Jumani knows as well as I do. European and world. It's so well. diluted, right? There's so many variations of there world are. champions in kickboxing. It's not like boxing. It's, you know, it's, it's the Rose reason. World champion kickboxer. It's the reason Who? why it's not in the Olympics. Obviously, I was in I was in a GB team. A GB variation of uh, kickboxing mm. done well at Wells European Championships, blah 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 blah. It goes on, it goes on. I take nothing away from it. I love it, especially my coaches at at that time were amazing, probably mm. the best. Some of their some of their uh, children are actually boxing. Some of the people that they train have turned to boxing or taekwondo, and have done very well in the actual GB squad. So you, ca- I can't take anything away from them. What they've taught me is amazing. But I understand about their. Uh, it is diluted in so many different ways. There's WKA, there's the WACO, ISKA. It's ridiculous, and it's one of the reasons why there's it's not in the Olympics because there there's Dilution. no one yeah. kind of boards yeah. to take control of everything. You know, full challenge um, boxing in England is turning that way with yeah, the, the alliance. It's ridiculous. Yeah. The alliance yeah. and the split. It's and a shame. I really wanted to do amateur and. It was before before that happened, but I'm kind of happy I didn't go into it because that's ridiculous that it started to do that, you know. Um, Doing amateur boxing. Do you think it benefits you in the ring? It does definitely. I feel like why? What is it? The the fact that you're used to competition. I mean, hundred percent. Like the, I remember when I did my my first international fight. It was in front of like thousands of people. Obviously, there was other fights going on at the same time, but it's helped and fighting different people with a lot of experience. The first time I fought a Russian was ridiculous. I remember the first time I beat a Russian was amazing. I was on, <laughs> I was on the Sky Nine. Nothing against uh, uh, Russians. Yeah, nothing against <laughs> Russians, but you know, Russians are hard people. You know, you checking your food for a couple of weeks afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> None of your chicken was glowing in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> the last person to beat me was actually Russian, and I'm actually friends with him on Facebook, so it's all good. I speak I'm to him when I can. Last <laughs> <laughs> but um, it 100 percent helps. You know that international experience especially that I don't have amateur background fighting at certain levels it was hard to transition but once I got the transition um everything was everything is good you know the footwork is much better uh than maybe a normal person I'm I'm not I don't have that general kind of British style there's certain things that I just really need to get get down but I'm still getting used to like yeah. the whole game and everything I'm We'll get there, you know. I feel like I've got a good basis in general. So um, good gym so as well. Good, good teacher Barry O'Connor. Great teacher. I like him a lot. We've got man. great people coming through, and it's like everyone's hungry at our gym at the moment. So like, I say at the moment because um, D 
Dean's going to New York and uh, fucking getting fucked up. So. <laughs> I was going to say, Dean, Dean doesn't look as though he's hungry. <laughs> <right now. laughs> um, what? Who's got the video? So I'm throwing up. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What crazy for what? <laughs> oh, mad. <laughs> mad crazy. So many videos. Um, <laughs> final question for you is from Martin from New Age. Some boxers say that winning the area title is like their world title. I mean, I spoke to Tyler Goodjohn. He said the British would be anything, you know, everything to him. What about you? Is that the case for you? Picking up that belt is that is that it, all you could have imagined for, or are there other goals you'd you I, know, you'd look to to accomplish? I honestly believe I could I could win English quite easily. I could go on to challenge for a British, uh, win it in 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 good time as well, not just like over ten years. Um, but the sub win in the Southern Era was unbelievable for me. Just because, like, again, from from when I first came to that gym with Barry, I've not boxed before. I did. I was kickboxing. When I first went to Barry, I wasn't even in the GB team. I trained with him, then got into the GB team, worked on it, had international fights, etc., etc. And we've gone through so many boxing fights since then. So, like, seeing how we've gone from no experience or fighting on the bloody roads, not that I go, go out and fight in the bars, to fight in a to Us fight kids. in a ring and win the southern area title which a lot of people long for it's not like a central area or a scottish area or mid area a lot of people like southern areas southern area titles so it, it was an amazing experience and not much will overcome that even though there'll be better titles better opponents yeah i, that, I also saw, well, i don't know there. if you saw steve goodwin was asked by ifl uh, he did an IFL interview the other day on Wednesday, and he was asked. Yeah, Barry. Barry retweeted he, that he was yeah. asked what his best moment of 2017 was, and he said Jamani Kamara picking up the Southern Area title. Yeah. So it meant a lot to him as well. You know what I mean? And, That's he was and, so and, it was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So obviously, listen, it was a great achievement. And the truth is, and I don't mean this derogatory to other areas of the country, but Southern Area, the standard is a lot higher than it is, say, Central Area or Northern Area. It's, it is. It's, it's well thought of. There's some good boys, and for you to pick it up as early mm. as you did after having a loss not yeah, long before. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Like that loss. I, feel, I, I do you feel. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Because the person that I fought was from the same camp. So if I if I didn't lose, would he have taken it? If some maybes, you know, you never yeah. you never really know. Um, not that I wanted to lose. It was there's loads of stuff that went on, things that happened that shouldn't have lost. But it's it a loss, shows, isn't it? It's his careers. You know, careers are made. On wins and losses, and some sometimes boys learn from losses, sometimes they 100%. don't. But the way you kicked on after that, I think was it was a was a 100%. good thing for I you. Mean, like I fought three months later, and then fought for the Ivory title four months later. I couldn't have made that much of a of improvement. So it just shows that I had the standard. I just kind of didn't produce at the time. So it's it's good that I kind of I didn't let it get me down. Just kept kept on going. But that's kind of my, per, my mentality. Persona, and, you know, yeah. mentality good my, my mentality. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to jump in with a couple of questions that Richie sent over. Uh, Who's Rich- Richie? <laughs> you know Richie. Richie never Everyone knows Richie. I'm sure I've heard about Richie. R- Richie Gray. Richie Gray. Gotta love that guy. The man, the myth, the legend, the part time model, the meme generator. <laughs> <laughs> Big Richie Gray. Um, yeah, Richie says uh, obviously Southern Area champion just now, Jumani. When when do you think you would like to look at an English title? When you see that in the next year or what? Soon as. Soon as. Honestly, I think. Uh, the people fighting for it at the moment, I think Lee Appiard is going to beat, uh, what's it, Frenchie, Marcus French? Marcus yeah, French. Yeah, yeah. Frenchie. He's got Myron Mills as a mandatory. Um, They're based up north and they Carl Greaves fight Lee Appiard. Is he a Carl Greaves yeah, fight? No, he's um, Steffi Ball. Steffi Ball. But, no, but I think he's managed by Carl Greaves. Is he? I may have made that up. No, it's Dave Caldwell. Uh, they're all they're northern. Caldwell. He's managed by Caldwell. They're all northern. I like, you Marcus know what? The northern <laughs> movement's coming. Yeah. There's they're some good coming. boys up they're there. Well. Yeah, they are, they're definitely. Well. Some good fights up there. And yeah, I think, there's some good rivalries to be made there, you know. Yeah, definitely. for the English title, so. definitely it'll be great. Uh, I feel like I feel like I'm ready to take take that fight. I'm happy to take it. Um, there's a bit. There's a lot with the board saying I've not had enough fights with my degree of uh, my history. Obviously, I have no amateur fights, so they they don't want to push me in too early. So uh, there's that. There's Steve as well, thinking there's there's bigger fights which can come. So. It's it's not so simple, you know. It's not just like I want to 
have this fight and it happens there's yeah. people that want to fight there's people that don't want to fight there's then Barry saying fights I should take or shouldn't take and then there's Goodwin saying there's fights I should take or shouldn't take and then there's there's the board that are not approving certain fights and will approve other fights so just with five variables some mixture right you know that with five variables there's already a lot less opponents for English or southern area so it's I just take what what comes at the moment. I hope I, I don't stagnate because it happens a lot in boxing, mm. and uh, that's my main worry really. I just want to kind of keep going. I don't mind defending something, but when there's no one to defend it against, what's the point? Yeah. What's the point? You can hold on to a title and stay around at the same level no. too long. I'm not. Yeah, you want to look improve. into hold on to a title just to stop people uh, coming up just because they don't yeah. want to fight me. But at yeah. the same time, like something needs to come. Yeah. You know? Um. Yeah, spot on. Uh, Richie asked one for you, Dean. He says, Dino, a lovely fella, it must be said. <laughs> <laughs> is smashing his way through opponents. When does he want to start looking at titles? So obviously we spoke Southern Area yeah. um, hopefully next year or a bit longer. Or what's your thoughts? Yeah. How old are you, Dean? 22. you got to start thinking when you got over 20. Man, <laughs> hey, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're starting from, Sam. He probably has to get a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Use an abacus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to pushing on to, to titles um, within my next couple of fights. Um, I like maybe this fight, maybe one after, and then go for the Southern Area title. I mean, I'll I'll take I'll take any fight. Current Southern Area yeah. champion at your weight, Matt McCarthy. Ooh, um, just ju- just went up for Anthony Milch, Tony Milch. Yeah, oh, no, no, I think like it was that. vacant. It was vacant, I believe. Yeah, um, yeah, he, it was he, vacant, he beat Tony Milch for it. Have um, you seen the fight? I watched it the other day. Um, Stopped him, didn't he? He did stop him. And I'll be right. honest, Matt McCarthy looked good. I'm, I, I get on well with Matt. Yeah. Good fighter, but it's a fight you'd take pretty soon, yeah? Yeah, I'll take it tomorrow. I really would. Um, he, he, he's a very tidy boxer, Matt. Um, and I've watched him box a couple of times. Um, but I think if he has someone that does put it on him, uh, I think he's quite easy. I think he's quite easy to beat. Um that ate your throat then it? That's really <laughs> <laughs> so Jumani and Sam will try to outman each other here by drinking straight whiskey and they look like a pair of fannies no, no, man. wait wait that was a JD and that whiskey that, wasn't it that whiskey is like 107 years old <laughs> but I don't know where that's from but I just blew my fucking head off oh Jesus I don't know how you're getting it's to it, the it's not, even, mate. it's not even got a fucking label on it it's just it's decanted <laughs> darling it's in a like, decanter no label unbelievable <sighs> Wow. Sorry to oh, interrupt your professional answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. I feel what it's going to take. It's usually Jack though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'd love to fight for the Southern area within my next couple of fights. Um, I think I'm more than capable of winning it. And I think looking forward uh, to say English area titles, I think there's people that have won it and. I feel I could quite easily beat as well, but um, it's all down to my manager Steve Good, and he's um, I know he's he's quite keen to sort of hold me back a little bit because they don't, they don't want to rush you. Cause yeah, you're young. as soon as you win, you'll be in you'll be in tough fights all the time if you win it because you obviously have to defend it, move on to other things. So I'm happy to let my career be in Steve's hands, but yeah, I think within the next couple of fights, I'd like to I'd like to have a seven area title. Is it hard for you because? You had five fights and won them all by stoppage. Yeah. Is it hard for you to take the next step up in terms of people giving you a chance to take big fights, like opponents? Because if they look at your record, yeah. they go, fucking hell. You, have you had any issues with struggling to get a step up fight? Or no, no, I, I think Steve was saying that. What did he say? I said he think. Come on, he said something about it's a bit difficult to find someone that's willing to take the fight. Um, I'd let you cheer me for five grand. But yeah, he's winning well, at five grand. No, exactly. Yeah. I'm yeah. You yeah. be taking the win, Can you can you make cruiser? <laughs> I don't know, mate. Just about. <laughs> give me give six me months. Week give me six months, months and I can drop down. <laughs> <a cruiser. laughs> to be fair, there's only like a, a, K, a kg between us at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it's not because That's I'm pretty embarrassing. I'm underweight at the <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So there's some some good fights, especially in 2018 for you. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to. No rush, no rush, though, Dean. No fights. rush. You got to no rush. listen. You got a long career ahead of you, mate. So yeah. the yeah. difficult thing is, and we spoke to Lerone about this. He fought for a WBO European, I and that. it made him a top fifteen in the world at that weight. Mm. And he said, "Look, I'm not an idiot. I know I'm not a top. 
you know, he's not ready for the upper echelon, but the problem is it's now hard to go backwards. Now, it depends what level you're at. So once you fought for a southern area, you can't then go back to fighting journeyman. Yeah, of course. It, it's quite difficult. So you have well, to get the level. Yeah, or well, you try not to. Yeah, it ha- it happens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but listen, you have to be smart with 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 your options and who you fight and when you fight them. Yeah. Um, loads more questions. Kevin, obviously Kevin from the pod, my brother-in-law, Kev Smith. Shout out him. He wants to talk about Gary. Spike O'Sullivan's epic fight. What the fuck was that? I just got licked in the eye with a pizza. Thank you, Dino. I'm trying to keep it professional when I get a pizza in the eye. On some Jack Jones behaviour. Jesus Christ. Um, now, what do we think of Spike last night? I thought he looked good, man. I thought he started slow, and then you could, you, could, you, could see the, you could see the power obviously started to tell. And Douglas was throwing a lot of shots early on, but he wasn't really stopping him in his tracks. And I thought he just let Douglas punch himself out, and then... Third, fourth, fifth round, it started to turn. The tide started to turn. But Spike picked a few nice shots. That big left hand was always there. Great right hand. Good yeah. Him. Yeah, and that one at the end it opened up the last sequence. That big right hand around the side of the guard. 100%. You could just tell it just shook the boy to his boots and, and he just put it on him. I thought it looked really good. Big win for him as well. I think you do he expect was... him to start slow, especially yeah. with uh, yeah. someone like Douglas. He was on paper with a bit of boxing. Yeah. So. yeah. He'd, only been, he'd only been beaten by... Um, Kurt Cedis, wasn't it? Cedis, yeah. yeah, yeah. Who's now banged up for mob-related crimes, I believe. Mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, fair, well, that, a little nutty guy. Yeah, a little Georgian guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That that uh, Douglas did look a bit punchy. To be fair, when he was fighting, yeah. he just looked, just looked. I've not seen a lot of his fights, but he, he didn't look right. Yeah. You know? not, when when not Spike put it on him, Spike, no, definitely. When Spike put it on him, he kind of looked like he was a bit shell shocked. He wasn't used to being put, have it put on him like that. Yeah, and yeah. I think Spike just upped it, didn't he? As a, yeah. he had great cornering from uh, Packy Collins. I thought it was love very, him. very him, good. Right. I think he's brilliant. Um, so yeah, where, where does Spike go from now? Um, he's a good guy. He's a true professional. You and know, I, realistically, I think he's going to get, he'll be groomed and fed into a, a defeat at world level. Do you yeah. think? He'll be fed to a world champion and he'll lose at world level. Sat, I think is, is what Yeah, what no, I, think, I think that's Are a distinct possibility. Yeah, yeah. No, no, he boxed Billy, Billy Joe for the British. Not, he, oh, Billy Joe for the British. And he boxed Eubank, no. Eubank he boxed Jr. for uh, right. international WBA. I yeah, may have made some, that up, but it, it's that sort of that equivalent. Just on I'm sure the WBA make it up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 he might get an interim WBA title fight at some point, but no, I, li- I like Spike, so. Oh, that's that's he, the question. He will want the world, but he's not that level, I don't think. No. Ask, the question you know, when you, ask the question when you've swallowed your food, Dean. I can't. <laughs> you know the interim world title? Still going for it. For the WBA? Is yep. that a world title? Pepperoni hanging Are out. Are you the mouth. interim for the regular or the super? Depends on the division, surely. Don't think it matters. I think not, ev- just... not every division's got a regular. It's only certain divisions that have got a regular. WBA needs to sweat well, out. They do. They do need to sweat out. Soon, I've been taking them over, fees, man. Yeah, you can't be having a super and, in, and an interim and a regular. It's ridiculous. It needs to be sorted out. But they don't do it until they stop getting the money for it. Yeah, that's what I mean. When you look at the IBO sanctioning fees to to even fight for one of their belts, you have to pay them thirty grand. IBO. That's not IBO. Is it? For IBO. For IBO. To sanction, to sanction that's probably what was it. Crawford that went. I ain't fighting for the IBO. When in Dongo. Crawford and Dongo went. I ain't fighting for that belt. Yep. So, so you bank paid thirty grand to be called a paper world champion. Yeah, but he <laughs> loves that. That's 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 cheap for him. Yeah, but look, but look what happened though. He made like a million pound from the fight. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you, when you look at the fees, you can see why these governing bodies do it. But I mean, people just need to stop paying the fees. Then sweet. Frankie Gavin's now boxing for a, an IBO world title. He? he is. Is he? Yeah, really? he is. Yeah. I'm trying to become a world title. Like, no, it's on a black. Fa- is it black? It is black. black, black. black. Yeah, what black. What is he fighting at? Uh, Dean's weight. <laughs> Dean's weight right now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> cruiser. <laughs> no, I'm not sure what weight it is, but yeah, he's fighting for an IBO world title. Um, yeah, definitely. What's the next question? Oh, Jason, Jason McCarthy. Shout out, Jason. Good man. Um, I'd like to know for you chaps what's been the fight of the year. Let's let's do televised and non televised. Oh, that's a because obviously I was at all eleven Goodwin shows this year. Oh, so you've got to put uh, Rendo versus uh, Leon Le- in there. Yeah. Leon McKenzie, Chella Rendo is the best fight I've ever seen live. I still yeah. want to see that. Best fight I've ever Have seen live. Seen do you know you why? There? The, the atmosphere. Oh, you were made to go, weren't you? E- everything on that, that fight was just... It, if you threw everything in and it just made a cocktail of perfect night of boxing, yeah. a perfect fight, it was that right there because <clears> there were two guys that were... That was their level. They put it all on the fucking line. It was a beautiful fight. The atmosphere so was fucking insane. The only the only fight that I think beats that 
was this white collar fight. Oh, get <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking The guy's head guard came loose. It was I, crazy. I, I, these, guys, these guys were just punching each other out. You think someone's going to get stopped, then next thing you know, they swap it, one big bang, and then there's the other guy, and they're like, oh my God, and it just went on for like three rounds. But in terms of skill and all the action, 100%. Like, you know what everyone thought you were we all thought you were doing really well on the podcast <laughs> <laughs> thought he sounds quite good and then uh, took the money who was Garton versus Goodjump who? Garton versus Goodjump way back three, two, a, two a years ago time, two yeah. and a half years no, what about best televised fight about one year best televised fight um, I might I might say I might say Joshua Klitschko yeah, I was going to say the same but I, I quite enjoyed Golovkin I quite enjoyed watching that fight of the year I don't know I won't make it fight of the year nah I, I, for me, best televised show, uh, best televised fight was probably Joshua Klitschko. I thought it was a great fight. Yeah, I, I think you got to give Conor Ben a shout out as well. It was a good that fight, six rounder yeah, for for a six a rounder. Yeah, it was, a good, it was a very good fight. Best six rounder. Anyway. Don't finish with that pizza, Dean. Um, it's done. Most improved more. boxer of the year, also from Jay. Uh, about playing Conor Ben because everyone. I think Jake Ball. <laughs> No. But no. Most from, from last November, where he got sparked out by JJ McDonough. But does I, that mean he's improved, or is it just because I think he looked? He didn't get I didn't think he had it in him to do what he did to Miles to make him look awkward, um, sort of average. And he, I don't I'd know. Go, I'd go Billy Joe. No, I see you can't. Of course you can't. He was a world title. He was a world champion last year. Yeah, don't he, you of course you can. <laughs> 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 not, not for me listen he's obviously had it in his locker he's the world mm. champ yeah but he hasn't performed at that level like this time last year he just beat Akakov in one of the worst televised fights of 2006 yeah who's fault there Frank Warren is Frank Warren in there fighting and training in camp yeah but if you've got a negative fight I think you're smart yeah, but it's your job to so if you've got a negative fight and you fight really really badly I'll say you're still, you're still we'll blame Steve Goodwin yeah, you have a responsibility to train properly and perform properly, regardless of who you fight. So, fuck's sake. You two are never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not even pizza my house. Eye, pizza on the floor. <laughs> I you finished it, Dean, man. Pizza fuck everywhere. Sake. Jesus um, Yeah, no, it's, it's a difficult one, I guess. Most improved is that what do, what do you actually use as your measuring stick? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you're comparing a 2016 to 2017. They're slightly, which is why I'd say Jake Paul because I thought in his fights this year he looked more than comfortable and in his last fight of 2016 he got iced the fuck out mm. so that's that's where I'm using that I don't think he looked great against Joe Sheriff I thought he looked good some of his body work was beautiful in that fight I didn't see that fight to be fair yeah 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 um, we've got loads more questions to get through Jesus Christ I'm drunk <laughs> <laughs> um, right Jamani, what are your plans for 2018? We did that. We did that one. Who said that? Win, that was from win. Box Clever, Mark Comba. Cheers, Mark. We've done it, though, mate. Leave we it to Barry. Leave it to Goodwin. I don't mind. Rob, I'll fight for a world title if I can. Definitely. Been in. Rob Cass, question for Sam and Craig. If you could choose one, what have been your best and most shocking boxing moments here of 2017? This. Quitting. I never knew that Dino was such a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Should have come to New York with us. Best best boxing moment. I don't know. I don't know. That's a hard one. What's the most sho- most shocking in a good way or a bad way or either? I don't know. I didn't. He didn't. He just said if you could choose one, what have been your best and most shocking boxing moments of 2017? Most Maybe you shocking. most shocking you didn't see it coming. Shocking between both good and bad. Yeah. yeah. I think um, shocking was probably... Bellew Hay was quite shocking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Still... You know what? I didn't even think of that. That was, that was very shocking. Bellew Hay was a shocker. I'm but st- at the same time, if you thought about it, Hay was not in, like... He's had a bad shoulder. He's had bad everything. Yeah, he shouldn't we, be fighting. We went to the workout, didn't we, Sam? And he looked all right. And he yeah. looked quite good in the ring. He's a and all that. dream, isn't he? <laughs> but um, yeah, that's probably the most shocking for me. Best boxing moment. Uh, maybe being at the Joshua fight when he when he put what when over he, New York. Yeah, when yeah. He, I went to New York and Rigondo got battered. So. <laughs> <laughs> but being there when he when he came back from the knockdown and just soaking up the atmosphere with so many people in such a small space. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. The atmosphere was was unforgettable, so that was good. Mine, honestly, was Mackenzie Render. Yeah, that's and a good. You, you know when you you feel that atmosphere and you see the family and how much it means. This was was it Southern area, wasn't it? Yeah, mm, Southern yeah. area super middleweight title, and it meant so much to so many people. 
and the, what the boys went through the atmosphere was insane um, and then the aftermath you know the, the professionalism of after it and everything about that made me realise why I love small hall boxing mm. to the death so yeah, yeah. for it, me is it Lerone at super though? Lerone's a super middle yeah he beats Rendell Oh yeah, yeah, yeah but he, he doesn't need the English easy. title, does he? Now he's, I'd, I'd imagine, he might go British title route, but probably yeah, not. Probably yeah. with Frank Warren, you with Frank British. WBO European. I think that's super. That Southern area super medals there for the taking, isn't it? Whether it's Lerone, whether it's Craig Richards if he goes back down. I, whether feel, for, I feel for Rendell because I feel like he's still not getting any like any exposure, any fights, nothing. There. Rendell, he yeah, yeah Rendell deserves he's a been big about shot. For a long time, long time yeah, professional man. He needs, he needs to take it a bit, a bit on himself, or just kind of push a bit. But you know, yeah, that was a hell of a fight. What? Uh, question from Terry from the Seven Wolves Boxing Who is the greatest boxer of the century? They have to have made their debut after the 1st of January 2000. Oh, fuck. So we've got 17, nearly 18 Can years. I, I'm, I'm gonna not answer this one. <laughs> Why? You can't do that. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I'm not gonna get involved in the podcast I've come two hours for. Do you know who questions oh, you, don't, you don't know me, do you? I'm, I'm definitely not involved. <laughs> not um, involved. I'm, I'm I, not I, getting involved. I reckon mean, <laughs> Terry would have probably said that in the yard. He would have. But uh, you've got to see me well, don't you? You've got to when see did he make his debut? Yeah. So he was at the 96, 96. Olympics. 96, yeah. And he made his debut. Oh, did he make his debut yeah. late 90s? That's yeah. 20, isn't it? 20? Uh, yeah, so. It's Lomachenko. I'm telling you, he's the best fighter ever. He is. Dino believes Lomachenko. I don't know. Um, 2000. What, from 2000? From the year 2000. I mean, I David Hay, clearly, if you're, on, if you're being honest with yourself. <laughs> Man like Haymaker. The greatest English cruiserweight of all time. Do you know he's He's amazing. The amount of the crowd he can pull in yeah. yeah. after what a year two years no matter what happens he'll pull in a crowd people people like to see him fight when did Pacquiao make his debut oh yeah 90s, 90s. I'd say yeah. 90s oh tricky question that it is it's not Lomachenko Lomachenko <laughs> Dean is the only one who's got a clear got my a clear. time interviewing <laughs> You should have. You know you're the boxer, right? And we did it. You know? Do you know what? I was gonna, I was gonna interview him um, at the public workout and be like, "Yeah, Jamani from uh, Fight Talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm here with Lomachenko. We wasn't, really um, we wasn't big on those team picture by accident. <laughs> he did then turn around and fist bump us, and Craig is still bitter. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good question. Tricky one. It's very, it's not very. Okay, Lomachenko. It's not for you. <laughs> Um, right, another question. Is it right that a boxer who isn't even a pro and hasn't fought in nearly two years gets sponsorships, retweets, and mentions based off social media nonsense and fairy dust? I don't know who he's talking well, about this, here. But this is Terry from the Seven Wolves. This, this is definitely you. I don't really know, I don't know who he's talking about here. I don't know who he's talking about. I do about. not know who he's talking about here. Who's he talking about? Who's he talking about, Giovanni? You can we say all about honesty on this We're podcast. About, he's obviously talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. What? What? No? What? You're an amateur boxer. Oh, a boxer. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You've had too much whiskey. <laughs> too much whiskey. Cristiano Ronaldo? <laughs> that was the last person sorry, I was, I was expecting. At, I, was at, I was looking at the football. I thought you were going to say, like, Big Shack or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, an amateur boxer. Hasn't fought in two years, but is getting lots of sponsorships, retweets, and social media attention. Well, it's down to the Jesus Christ. Is that right? So, he's talking about. Well, we probably know who he's talking about, right? Probably know, but I'm not going to say their names because I don't know for he's sure. I would, I would hazard a guess. I would hazard a Are you going to hazard a guess live yeah, on the podcast? Shall I turn it off first? Go on, Craig. I'll hazard a guess. He throws no names for I, don't know, I, I think I know. So. I've got names for days, Brad. man. I'll name everybody. Huh? Huh? Rosanna Cox. I would imagine he's talking about. You think it's about Rosanna Cox? Yeah. Who is Rosanna very, Cox? Very possible. Female amateur. <laughs> Rosanna Cox? Female amateur who hadn't had a fight in a couple of years. Gets loads of like crazy sponsorship deals, food supplement places that professionals don't get, clothing sponsorships, all this sort of stuff going on that, that some professionals have no sniff of. You might not be talking about her, so if he's not, then I apologise, Terry, but... Um, but surely it's down to the people sponsoring, if they want to give their money And then the thing someone, is, if please. she's put in the work, whether, it's, whether she's put in work or not, if they decided to give it to her, she's done something that they want to, or he, sorry, has done something that they want, and... They're working together and shit's working out, you know. Whether they want so to, business is business, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, business is business. And is it is it more a case then? I would say I'd throw it back and say, 
is it a case that the people who are professional who aren't getting those sorts of things well, that's in their hands then surely yeah. if you're doing more as a professional if you boys are, are not getting that and someone else who's an amateur is it might not be her by the way so let's just let's just oh, assume don't her. <laughs> 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 but so good up you, <laughs> you you have to you have to take control of it for yourself I think and if you're not doing enough for yourself social media wise or whatever else you want to do to build a build a character for yourself then it's in your hands it's for me right. A lot of boxers outsource it, don't they? So yeah. So yeah, good question, though. Good question. Is that who you thought I was going to say? No. Who do you think I was going to say? I can't remember the geezer's name. I'll be honest. Here you go. There's a bottle. No, I can't well. remember his name. I'd weigh him out anyway. I can't remember. Oh, uh, I think I know. Fight, fight, <laughs> fight. <laughs> no, I can't. No, but there's a few guys that haven't actually made their debut and they're sort of making a little bit. But at the same time, it's hard to be mad at them when you have one career. That it's that it's in their own interest to make the most of their own career. Are you thinking of that? Um. No, it's not no? actually no, because he's he's quite a good amateur that guy. Yeah, yeah. So no, it's not it's not him. Else. I imagine when he turns over, he'll do well. Yeah, yeah. but he's if, if he's an amateur, if he's fighting regularly, then it's, it's not him. That's yeah, not no, him at all. yeah, it's not him. And I can't remember his name. That's a true story. I'll find it afterwards. But e- either way, I, I think that's you make most of social media if you can get it to work yeah, for you and that, get sponsors. Just then, lying. <laughs> then fair play to you. He's just lying. He's just lying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, another question why are people so delusional about Frank Bullioni I don't know what context he's, I know he's this guy sounds very I don't know this guy but he's <laughs> is this the guy that tried to say he's going to bet on me versus Conor Ben yes yes, oh! yes. yes. how did you oh, know this shit. is Terry here we go I'll have a balls. bet with him I won't even fight he's on a different weight but I'll have a bet with him <laughs> why are people so delusional about Frank Bullioni I think Frank Bullioni is a top man very good looking handsome motherfucker I think he's very limited. I don't, I don't think he's world level. I don't think he'll ever be world, world level. level. And that's you the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know of many people that are delusional about him. I've not heard people go, Bugly only will do this. Bugly only is going to be, you know, yeah. this big. I've never. No, really I don't get why he's picking that's true. He doesn't really have that kind because he's a team yard. He doesn't and have the that kind of well, does he? The people that he's like, he's in the mix with at the minute, like Callum Johnson, Anthony. I think they all look the same. Like, I think they all look the same level at the minute. I think we see Anthony Yard the other day. He's actually a lot easier to hit than what people think. Yeah, I, think a few things, I think. I think they're all mm. at the same level. So leave poor Frank alone. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it, Terry. Leave poor Frank alone. Um, loads more little ones, right? Rob Martin has sent in about five or six little quick fire. This is a questions. quick fire question. Quick, right. well, like, yes, quick fire round. Best random DM of the year. Oh shit! Chambers. Got to be Eddie Chambers, isn't it? Randomly getting the. I thought, meant, I thought these were all for us. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I didn't well, get one. I haven't, oh. I haven't got one all year. Well, so against AJ. Yeah, poor, poor Eddie Chambers. Um, <laughs> doesn't have to be a bad DM, does it? Random DM. Random. Of Am I allowed to say uh, Dino's Conor Ben one? Yeah, what's that one? Is that what's random that? enough? Let's tell what? us about it. And we'll decide. <laughs> or with the picture of uh, Will Smith when he gets stung by bees or whatever. No, that one, that one, DM. That was straight out of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> DM uh, of the year, random DM I don't of the know, year. I'm gonna check my DMs now. Right? <laughs> I got a random DM from got, Barry McGuigan. You got saying thanks for writing an article. Barry McGuigan, top man. On Instagram or Twitter? Whatever, mate. A fucking DM to DM in it. So are you gonna do? Uh, are you gonna end up doing a show like um, the IFL lot? But for but for Channel Five and <laughs> McGuigan and them guys. We wish, mate. Get me in. in it. Get me in. <laughs> Let us in, McGuigans. Barry. Uh, <laughs> no, no random DMs basically Eddie Chambers got the best DM of the year I think uh, yeah. I'd love to have got a DM from Anthony Joshua saying black superiority what was it something like that wasn't it uh, the superior nation you're a disgrace to superior race or something yeah. like that wasn't it yeah it was class mate I don't so. know how to call about that right now <laughs> <laughs> but I'd be happy um, best abusive tweets you received I got told I was up by Harold Davis arsehole <laughs> uh, no, I got told I was his bitch, was it? You got offered it a few times, mate. Well, I offered him out. He, he started, so I said I offered him out. Um, we got loads of abusive tweets after the Asi Valley scandal. <laughs> yeah, we did get Asian people abuse. said we had to watch our backs and they were going to roll our heads <laughs> Asi and all Valley. this stuff. Really? Asi Valley's the good... Well, we, we long that. story. Long story. <laughs> 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 we got a lot of abuse over that. Um, zero fucks were given. When you know the truth, you know the truth. You know what I mean? So, that was a mad few days, man. That was crazy shit. Uh, biggest boxer to refuse an interview and then the next one was shittest boxer to refuse an interview. Mm. <laughs> Jumani, what do you Which refuse to talk? <laughs> <laughs> um, Biggest boxer to refuse an interview. Have it actually refused or just not got back to you? That's the question. Ooh. Uh, I've had one boxer refuse me all year. Go on. One boxer. Go all on year. then. Tell them why. So, all right. Is it Richie? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> it's actually a good. It's a good one. Me and this guy had been speaking for a little while. We were going to do an interview. He's like, let my let my fight go. We're doing an interview. I was like, cool. His name's O'Hara Davis, and we were Ooh. we'd agreed we're doing an interview. It was all booked and that. 
And then um, a guy that was working for us at the time interviewed Derry Matthews, who he was about to fight. I saw O'Hara Davis two days later at the Chris Eubank Jr. Bill, who's with Anthony Yard. I was like, oh, we're going to do an interview now. He's like, oh, you lot just interviewed Derry Matthews, innit? I went, yeah, yeah, my, my, my Northern guy did. He went, yeah, yeah, I'm not doing an interview with you now. Really? I was what? like, huh? What's all this bitch? What a dude, man. <laughs> yep. He went, yeah, now you've interviewed Derry Matthews, I don't want to interview you. I don't even, you know what, I expect I was like, I just shook it. I was like, right, have a good day, my friend. Like, what can, what can you say to that? What about that, shittest boxer to um, refuse an interview? I've never had a shit boxer. Sounds like it's the same person. Same guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. Um, that's the only person that said to me no. I've had guys not respond occasionally, but no one's ever really refused. The weird thing is that people do now is you get a lot of people that their managers or people who are organised that will go, yep, 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 send over the questions or do this or do that for a written article and then you, they agree to it, they ask you to send the stuff over and then they just don't get back to you or they don't... I had one... Kana Islam who's a middleweight good fighter uh, Kazakhstani and he I emailed them or emailed them in June and they got back to me on the fucking 10th of December really like six months later I was like why the fuck am I waiting for this so people sometimes are just a bit shite at getting back to you but in terms of refusing it's very rare you'll have somebody refuse yeah, like yeah. say no I'm not doing that Ahara just doesn't give a fuck so I bet Rodolfo yeah. does now that you <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I wouldn't ask him no he knows Rodolfo I wouldn't ask him no point this, this question this question can be for all of us actually do you know most random place you've been recognised as a taxi driver <laughs> yeah. as a taxi driver are you that black uh, cabbie that dropped me home <laughs> most random place I've been recognised in a in a rave in a rave yeah, I was in a rave and so We on. didn't in a rave, you're gonna be a fucking athlete. It was after Jamani. <laughs> yeah, it was after Jamani's fight and my mates were just down the road. I thought, you know what, I'll just go meet him oh, for a I bit. I was in Shoreditch, wasn't it? I'm in there, this guy just tapped me on the shoulder, he went, You did know? I went, Yeah. He said, You box? I was like, Yeah. I was like, oh, a bit mad. <laughs> Jamani, what about you? Uh, Obviously, people think you're a predator, so it's, it's a little bit. You're in that 80s, cl- 80s classic. I'm not sure if I tried to take you out. Who are you? Jarrett Seedle? America, who are you? Uh, Kenneth Reed, oh, <laughs> Whoopi <on>. Goldberg. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> you know what? If you're, if you're listening, Brian, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a song from Sister Act quickly. <laughs> um, it's got to be recently. Um, I went to just went out with, with a few friends. Um, so was, went to a salsa kind of place, and there was uh, two people I've not met before. And one of them recognised me, he was like, oh, you were at this, 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 my friend was fighting as well, I saw you, uh, it was a good fight, blah, 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 and it was, just went on from there, it was, it was weird, it was kind of surreal. Um, was that a white collar event? <laughs> 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 no, but the one before, ages ago, when I did fight white collar, and I saw someone on the tram, who was like, oh, you fought at Coliseum, I was like, yeah, Ooh, it was, yeah, so that was white collar, so maybe. You have, a, you have a very definitive look. Australian. Dino looks like every <laughs> every white boy, <laughs> every guy. Dino just looks like every, every random taxi driver. He's going to get the belly, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've become a dark yeah. thing. I've been recognised in a cab, but, like someone's been beeping. I'm turning around, like expecting a row, and they're like, "You right, mate? You're the boss." <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you all called me. Someone said, "You're, you're yeah, yeah." I mean, you all called what, for so fucking you're boxing. Recognised at a boxing, <laughs> yeah. 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 boxing interview, and that's my that place to fame. Brutal. That's amazing, <laughs> right? <laughs> With a t-shirt on with the website. <laughs> <laughs> you the guy from Fight Talk? Yeah. yeah turning yeah. me around yeah. to double check that they were right, yeah. But how did you know? Yeah. <laughs> fight Talk, cat, fight talk. <laughs> what about you, Canelo? Where did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ron Weasley, never mind Canelo. Um, uh, yeah, York Call, but then when we were in New York, some people in the bar, we were in had read some of the stuff that I wrote for the site, which was cool. But yeah, other that was than that... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can't read, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> uh, when I introduced you to uh, Clarissa Shields, a uh, journalist. Clarissa, yeah, yeah. Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields. How did that feel? That Clarissa asked for a photo with you, Jamani. She's like, you're the champ. You're, oh, you're, I remember you. You're, you're the I champ. Like, I was like, yeah, no, calm down, calm down. We <laughs> it was yeah, weird. She did it. ask me to pass on a message to Anthony Joshua that she fancied him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, just because I'm British and I box, I do not know. You must be friends with AJ. Yeah, of course. Nah, she was cool, man. Clarissa Shields was cool. Yeah, she was really cool. A question from Jamie Ingleby. 2017 Fighter of the Year. Oof. Let's go. Let's go. Brit- let's go British. Because you're Josh Taylor. Ju- I just gonna stick Terrence your tongue Crawford. out, Josh Lomachenko. Taylor. Josh Taylor. I would have said Terence Crawford. Worlds. Yeah. But if we let's go. Yeah. Let's 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 keep it British oh, for, for this. But British, I would say Josh Taylor. Hard to disagree. You definitely ain't getting an interview with O'Hara Davies now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, I I quite like O'Hara Davies. I thought it was even better that he 
he kind of a little bit gave, gave a little bit more attitude than most people expect of him so fuck it mm. I like O'Hara Davis but yeah Josh Taylor I think it's hard to to say anyone other him fighting special him. special talent Josh Taylor under the radar break was this under the radar breakout fighter and prospect of the year Dean Richardson you're the champ oh, fuck yeah, Dean yeah, cha- yeah. fuck Dean you're the champ you're the, you're the southern area yeah. champ and if someone had said that she's the beginning of the year you might not have thought that that's true. Yeah. So I said Jamani Camaro. Oh, fuck Dean oh, Richardson. You had Joe Cordina turn down a fight. Oh, yeah. Look at, I've had a few other people turn down fights. Don't worry about Ooh, that. Shit. 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 <laughs> Under the radar fight of the year. Great. Under the radar fight of the year, Jamani Camaro. Uh, I'll take that. Yeah. I think it's um, yeah. Under the radar, if you want, if you want a belt though, I would try and think about. It. I'd say maybe like prospect mm. or breakout. Breakout if you win your first belt, I would think. So under the radar for me would be somebody who's been doing some decent work but hasn't really. What's well, about the small hole scene? Mm. Yeah, yeah, small hole scene. So I'd go maybe Linus. Oh yeah, man. yeah, I love Linus. Last fight. Oh. Under the radar. Actually, Bailey Demets. Oh, that knockout. Great. Yeah. So the work he's doing, yeah, Dean like as well. One. Not just because you're here, because I think you're a bit of an asshole, but yeah, you're a prick, but you're a good fighter. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys who aren't, ha- haven't won titles yet, but the the doing like, good work all his, mm-hmm. all his fights are so clean yeah and they're yes. so clean like there's something amazing to take from it obviously he's learning different lessons but you can't you can never really criticise him for where he's at at every stage yeah you know he's such no yes yeah, good level got, yeah, good definitely. level good boy also ordered a lot of pizza when he came here so <coughs> he's welcome back <laughs> <laughs> Jamani <laughs> paid for it <laughs> <laughs> um, another one from Jay McCarthy most excited to see next year so guys that we I guess see how they progress in 2018 Dino and Jamal obviously I'm at every Goodwin show so I'm I'm probably slightly different from most people that maybe listen to the pod or Big Box I'm at every Goodwin show that's what I did last year so guy, I look at small hall scene I like seeing Dino fight I like seeing Jamani fight I like seeing Waddy fight because Waddy's always in great fights yeah, it's a mad do you know what I mean Waddy Camacho is a great guy Linus I think really well of Brad Pauls is in a very good fight. Yeah. All small hall guys, yeah, I like to watch box. I heard he's got a good fight lined up. Yep, very good fight. Ten Diego rounder. Who's he fighting? Diego Burton. Diego Burton. Who, Brad Pauls? Brad yep. Pauls, Diego Burton. Ten rounder March time. I know Diego Mental. Burton from good fight. my friend. Good my fight. friend's family were quite close. So, so all amazing. of them guys that we've watched, Anessi Tawala, we watched his debut. We watched him go 1, 2, 3 and 0. I like to see oh, the progression. Richie. Go on, Richie. Richie Gray's ringing, but... Um, so we join him in? Should we put in the podcast? Oh, right, no, no, no. Funny. <laughs> I'll tell you who's a fighter I'm looking forward to watch progress. Um, now he wants to FaceTime, look. <laughs> We're FaceTiming <laughs> Richie Gray. Ryan Garner. Yeah, Ryan yeah, yeah Southampton boy. He yeah. was due to be on that Brentwood show. Yeah, oh, he, was. He? he was. I think he's... I see his debut. Wait was. there. Um, we're back we just answered the FaceTime from Richie Gray another shout out for Richie got his questions asked and he got his face involved so yeah just just got announced to fight for a British Challenge belt in March as well so good shout out to him, to him man. Yeah. Got no. Richie. better progression that's good top man I like I him a lot know. we've got to be coming to the end there can't be that many questions left can there you got any more questions Craig I don't have any more that I can remember but I was really fucked yesterday so if anyone sent me them I probably haven't I thought that was the girl for a second. I haven't looked at them. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think we've got one question left, and it's for you and me, Craig. And it's from our good friend, Paul Altai. Did he only send one? It's selfish, right? Jesus just just the one. But it's a good question. <laughs> okay. Where do you see the Fight Talk brand going in 2018? I feel like I should be asking you to. Well, you, you <laughs> are. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, taking over the Fight Talk <laughs> podcast, Jamani Camaro. Where do you see the Fight Talk brand going in 2018? Are you have to stay what you're doing now, or got bigger things planned? I don't plan on getting drunk every podcast. <laughs> only when you guys come around. To be yeah. fair, um, I'm happy with that. <laughs> the thing for me, yeah, we never knew where it was gonna go. Like when I started this shit, I just sat in front of a camera talking about boxing. Then I fell into interviewing fighters. Then this Scottish geezer DM'd me. He slid up in my DMs. Like did to bring him No, the, tr- the truth is, like, it's sort of oh, progressed. Oh, Dan just asked a question as well, so I'll ask it afterwards. Sorry. We wanted to end on this, but whatever. Oh, okay. Um, mm-hmm. No, you can ask it after. Yeah, we, uh, for me, I think we weren't planning on sponsoring a boxer this year, and it kind of happened. Yeah. Um, just keep interviewing guys. Keep feeling like we're giving some sort of platform to guys that aren't 
getting pushed from other you know other big platforms as long as i can go to a goodwin show watch good small hall boxing and honestly feel like we're here for the fighters and not for ourselves because we're never going to earn money out of this this cost us money like it cost jamani money and pizza tonight <laughs> but in general this cost us money we don't get earn out of this this is just for the love of the game and the good people we've met doing this shit yeah um, yeah, this is never going to be a money maker. We both got full time jobs. Everything we do for Fight Talk is around our work and our kids and our family and our dog and our pizzas and our booze. I love a dog, by the way. It's, it is what it is, you know what I mean? For you, you've interviewed some of the biggest names in the fucking world this year. Yeah. So Almost yeah. as good as Sonny Dunley. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny Dunley can't write his fucking name. <laughs> um, I like Sonny. Oh, how many world champions now? 14. Oh. 14 in a year, which is not bad. And, and once a month. Yeah, but some of the some of the more interesting stuff that I've managed to do has been with people who aren't world champions. Like some of my people have had crazy stories and stuff. But mm. like Sam said, I don't really. It's a privilege to get to go to all these shows and sit and and hang out with people like yourselves and just have people enjoy the stuff that we put out. It's never going to be a money maker, uh, but as long as people enjoy the work. Until Boxing News give me a call, <laughs> I guess I'll just float about with this guy for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, it's good. It's good fun. And the people that we brought on board, Tom Humber. Uh, he's going to be one of the best writers next year in the UK. He's, he's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good man. Wrote a cracking piece on on Dean as well, and wrote a cracking piece on Linus. So he's he's fantastic. Get your money next up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's <laughs> nothing to write about me, man. <laughs> <laughs> James and Adam, um, James who can't work a camera or a fucking dictaphone, but he's a good boy. <laughs> Says the guy that didn't turn on a microphone for an hour. Oh. oh. <laughs> And uh, that piece on Dean is shite, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam, who's who's just fuck, he's a mad character. He's brilliant, but he's he's a madman. So that's good. I feel like we've got a really solid, a really solid team. Everybody does their own bit, and we pitch in and we do whatever we can do. Probably, yeah, probably just keep plowing away. We're always putting out. If you look at other platforms, like all the other platforms, a lot of them are just news based, and they turn out the same stuff all the time. So they'll copy the same story, but on five different websites. Yeah, we, websites. we get we get the same press releases as them. Yeah, but we we it's, try. It's, and it's very cheap in a, in a way to just put up. Listen, if that's what you are, if you're a, if you're a news platform, then fair play to you. But a lot of people just putting the same out. It's not really for us. Yeah, we want to be putting out original content, whether it's opinion pieces, interviews, articles, discussions, whatever it is. You you rarely see us just copy and paste stuff and and put it out there, and, and hopefully people appreciate that. So 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 to further that question. How do you look to increase your kind of uh, your viewership or people that's gonna tune in, or do you not matter? You just want to put it out. And I see think people it's increase? a difficult one, Jamani, yeah, because our, our slogan is from the ground up, and I yeah. never ever want to forget that. Like, all right, this prick on the phone for twenty minutes to Deontay Wilder <laughs> two months ago. <laughs> twenty minutes on the phone to Deontay Wilder. I'd rather spend twenty minutes on the phone to Dino. You know what I mean? <laughs> but. The, the, you got charged for that one. <laughs> <laughs> did he phone you or did you phone him? Came in boxing, phone me. Thank <laughs> <God>. <laughs> That's right. Um, no, I never want to get away from the small hall. I, it's it's what I enjoy doing, and the truth is, it's where I see the shortfall in giving a platform to younger fighters. I don't, you know, Goodwin boxing don't get that many times where a big platform come down and film their guys, and we're not a big platform. We're a very mm. very small platform in what we do. But if we can feel like in all honesty we're here to give a little bit more of exposure to the young fighters than they would have had before us then i'm happy man that's that's all it is for me that's all it will ever be but it's a generational thing isn't it like uh i'm sure ifl came up with he didn't come up with matchroom but when when they started they were kind of coming yeah up. He got, they, they, they were got the first ones they were the if first you, ones yeah if i'm sure goodwin will have his number of world champions and i'm sure you guys will come with that because you're you've done so much with the goodwin will you end up Continue with that, and when they're a big platform, I know what you mean, yeah. Or, or do you, you go back down to the car? Yeah, you know? I started I mean, in my car. Me and Dean did my uh, Westfield. Uh, sec- second or third interview. We did an interview in my car. That's the first one outside Westfield. The and it, call it second. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was not. And Sorry. I don't ever want to get away from that. But yeah. I know what you mean. It's hard, if Goodwin does end up going growing and growing. I've got a great relationship yeah. with all the people at Goodwin Boxing. It They've been nothing, them, nothing right? but good to us and. You know, like I said, every show this year I, I attend, I may have left early once or twice, but I was, I was there. Times. Yeah, I was there, and I'll, I'll continue to be there for Goodwin Boxing because they're good people. And yeah, I hope they grow, and maybe we can grow with them. But I'll never forget the guys that the one and O guys, the two and O guys that have never done an interview because no one particularly cares, and that's the truth of it. That yeah. is the, that's that's the biggest thing when you look at people now. Like for example, on Esu Twala, who we ended up giving about about sponsorship for to buy some kit. He fought first or second on a card at like 5pm, half five. And I promise you now, 
nobody followed him out for an Zero. interview. One, nobody. One man, and it was you. Even after his last fight, his third fight, which was midway through a card, nobody fought, nobody wanted an interview. And it, it's just, even that little boy, uh, Reese. What's he called? The guy oh, Reese. Reese Taylor. Four, the Showy, four the foot ten guy. Yeah. The four foot ten guy, the yeah. smallest boxer in Britain, yeah. And now people, now people talk to him. him like yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I interviewed him and no one else cared. Like, that's the truth. No one followed him. He was first fighter of the night, knocked out the home fighter. I went to interview him. No one else did. No one else queued up. I did. I wanted to speak to him. Top bloke. And then you sort of see afterwards on what on the back of what we've done, people yeah. go, oh, we want to get him on this and that. Yeah. yeah. It is what it is, right. man. If it gives him exposure, fair play to him. But... We know deep down we're trying our best to help the box not not feed our own ego. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I've been to press conferences where Ricky Hatton was there. It was for a Dove Box show where Nathan Gorman fought. And I sat there at the, at the front of the, the beginning of the press conference. Four or five platforms walked in and queued for Ricky Hatton. I looked over and Chesney Hawkins, Alec Wilkie, I think he was 1-0 at the time, may have been mm. his debut. It's from your, your area, right? No, yeah, it was, it was no one was there near him, not one person. And I thought, really? yeah. fuck that. that it's that's wrong. Similar. It's completely wrong. I Do you remember when he was at the, um, at the event for Grenfell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Obviously, yeah. there was a lot of people down there, different platforms, and people turn up like Coley, that heavy D geezer, and you see them like all interviewing them. Yeah. Mm. But um, what about all these young fighters, you boys that were there? We're, we're, we're local to that. Our I gym's know. like... It's wrong, mate. And that, that's how I feel. It's and wrong. Obviously, we weren't there for any exposure, like getting interviews, but you just see the way that they was acting. It's like... Do you know why? They, it, they had a right chip opinion? on their shoulder. You don't do views. So mm. you don't bring anything to them. Yeah. And that that's how I feel. And as horrible as it sounds, it, you don't feed their ego enough. Oh, I interviewed Dean Richardson. Right now, no one... In general, compared to you know, I the won't take offense, right. you know what I'm saying though, right? <laughs> it, if the people that are going to do views is who it benefits them yeah, to interview. Course. Whereas I think that's the backward. I think it's the complete wrong mentality. As boxing media coming in at a late time, which is what we've done really, because mm. I felt who are we to say we want people just to do views? If I interview someone that does ten views, but he's finally done his first interview, or he can shout out his sponsors or something, yeah. then who the fuck? Do you know what I mean? It, yeah. The boxing game confuses me, man. It's a weird, fickle sport where people very race. fickle. People dip in and out, and people. Yeah. You only have to go to a fight. Like I said, I was at Klitschko Joshua, and people. Uh, I promise you, man. People said, "Well, like we're going, AJ's the best boxer in the world." He got put down straight away. They were going, "He's shit. What's he been doing in the gym? <laughs> <laughs> this is not good enough." And then he put Klitschko down. He's pound for pound the best. The same fucking people, man. And I'm sitting there like, who are these people? These are the people that. These are the people who dip in and out with the, the big interviews that these guys like IFL do, and they and they were on the scene fast and, and they do fantastic work. But someone who's someone who also fucking just loves the sport and does interviews with these big guys, but does them the right way with the right passion is Rob Tebbit, man, who's been doing some banging stuff. Quality, Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn interviews forty minutes a piece, and it's about boxing. It's not about when I watch these platforms, it's all about social media beef. Or who do you want to fight next? Let's start up a beef. Or let's talk about this and mm. makes it sounds relevant. Yeah, it's, it's just good. it's gonna do it's views. Cheap, man. It's cheap. It's cheap. But it is what it is. We just keep plugging away. Yeah. No drama. I have a question. Where's that secret footage of the interview where I interviewed you? I've, you I've still actually got that. I haven't seen it. <laughs> did, that, did I not? See no, not that. that one. One. I had his camera. I had his camera. <laughs> oh, oh, to be fair, I think I've got a future behind the camera. <laughs> 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 You look a lot better behind the camera, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a face for radio, haven't you? <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that was probably 10 minutes longer answer than we, yeah. we, we should have. But yeah, that's the truth of it. And this has been... It's been mad, isn't it? Having the boys around, doing these... like It doesn't really matter at this stage how many people really tune in because we enjoy doing it. We have the, the crack with the boys, some great people we've met in boxing. And yeah, we've had a great afternoon right now. Yeah, pizza. Yes, we'll back down this question. Pizza. Shall we finish on what, that? What, finish, finish on, on one on question. question. It depends what it is. What's the best boozer to get proper <laughs> trashed in around Manhattan? <laughs> I wasn't there. I've got Fuck a shout out. Jimmy's Corner. Jimmy's Corner, 100%. Three dollars a pint. Every single. It's a bit like this room here. Every yeah. single inch of the wall is filled up with pictures, but not pictures memorabilia. professionally taken, but one like amateur pictures of Joe Frazier, Sugar Ray Robinson. Unbelievable. Crazy. Crazy. Unbelievable place, man. Was David Hay on the wall? That's how I judge a place. If he David Hay was on the wall, he he's, over he's over there. He's over there. He's everywhere, he's everywhere, he's everywhere <laughs> in my wall. I don't want to look in your bedroom. You'd be on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a damn fine bar. Smith's was also very good as well. 
Shout out to uh, Smith, all Smith. the people in Smiths. The people from Bournemouth that we were hanging out with as well. Good, uh, Kev. good little crew. Kev Thorny. Oh yeah, Kev Thorny. Right, um, mm. Yeah, it's good. To Are you not going to make them listen to this then for their shout outs? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Make, maybe I'll fucking share it. Just skip to so we can do more than ten views. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. That's our end of year. I think that's it. We've summed it up. We've had a drink. We've had a beer. We've had a booze. We've had a Sweet. bit of pizza. We've had a laugh. That's all the same thing, isn't it? That's all the same. Mm. But you've, when you've had as much as me and Jamani have had, this fucking yeah, boy, <laughs> amateurs. Listen, this has been the Fight Talk podcast. Have a good Christmas, Happy New Year, and um, listen. Thanks for all the support, man. This has been the Fight Talk podcast.